What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here and today we are back playing some more of that Doki Doki Literature Club. Now, I have basically restarted everything once more with my hard drive thing. Got a new hard drive today, had to redo it all because of those stream issues I had, but there's no stream issues now, it's a completely new computer. So, we, um, I had to take some time beforehand to catch up to the part that I was up to in the actual game since I lost my save data and I forgot to transfer it from the old hard drive. So. I think everything's caught up now. Um, I had to go through all the decision making again. I didn't realize you could skip everything by holding down control. So for the longest, I was just clicking super fast and I finally got things to where they should be. Now, in terms of this game, I'm going in there again with no knowledge. The reason why I'm playing this so soon after the first part rather than doing something else like I had initially planned is because I've not been able to check any of my social media since then. Obviously, it's the internet. They troll for a fucking living. We all know this. There's no way in hell that my Twitter now no longer has spoilers the way it did before I played Doki Doki. So knowing that I haven't been on Twitter, um, I haven't been browsing anything. I've just been at home um, setting things up with this new hard drive thing. Now that that's finally done, I want to be able to check my social media again. So in order to do so, I'm going to be um, completing Doki Doki tonight. Now with that, there's some implications that I just wanted to bring up before we start. One of those being that this game was the first to have me you know, experience nightmares in a long time. It's kind of crazy to be in that position because, you know, me, me, I consider myself a, a horror connoisseur, you know what I mean? Of sorts. I like scary shit, but this was the first game in a while to actually make me feel uncomfortable, and I like that. I, I'm looking forward to it. Even though I am a bit shaken by what's happened so far, I'm curious to see what else happens. Now, the thing is, this game hits you in stages. It goes from you thinking it's a standard visual novel with um, the whole cutesy, um, kawaii, high school life type shit that Japan is known for typically. And then it turns it into sort of an emotional drama with the whole Sayori and Yuri thing. Then it turns it into somewhat of a slice of life, really like depressing, sort of pressing um, kind of drama with like the, the with the whole thing about not feeling worth it and wanting to just completely be removed out of someone's life. It pulls at you and then it hits you on some next level like school day shit with Sayori's suicide. But it goes a step beyond that. And I think now we're on some flowy shit, to be real with you. I don't know what's going on, who's the source of it. I have my I have my um, deductions as to who it might be. A certain girl with a name that starts with the letter M. But since I've not been spoiled, thankfully, I don't I'm still unsure. I think it's definitely Monica though. I mean, clearly she's giving all these references, dropping hints all over the place. I you know, she's running the scenes or something. I don't know. But I love how this game delivers all of those escalations to you after like waiting a while you know like it doesn't force it on you right away it's just like oh, okay you think it's this we've done it for about like 30 minutes now bam you get hit with another part i don't know so in 30 minutes from me starting this game right now on the stream what the fuck am i gonna think of it that's the fun to me i i'm glad that we don't have these technical issues now this means i can play the game entirely and not have to worry about sync issues on youtube i am not going to be able to upload the first part because those issues completely fucked it up and i don't have a good recording of it on my computer so the first part is gone but i honestly think the first part was just a build up to what we're about to experience right now doki doki i think is going to take me on a wild fucking ride and you know what i'm glad to be able to experience it on camera with you guys i'm optimistic about this i'm excited uh, I'm ready to be uh, shocked now. After having a few days to really sit down and think about it, uh, let, let's see what's going to happen. All right, so I got the game right here. Um, my desktop is pretty much the same as it looks before. The only difference is I, um, uh, I'm Salt. He yeah, he uploaded it. Thank God he recorded it while I did it. But the the video is like done on my part. But if you want to watch the first part, go to I'm Salt's channel. He has it. Uh, I'm sure he'll link something in the description or in the, not in the description in the chat and you'll be able to watch it there I highly suggest if you have not seen my first part of Doki Doki or played up until the first major event the suicide then you need to go back and do everything all that build up is necessary because I don't think this game would have hit as hard if it didn't have you think that it was oh lord have mercy holy shit yo oh <laughs> this, thing, why not? this nigga hold on this, this shit is loud as fuck <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, nigga? Jesus Christ. Oh, I forgot I had that one up there. That shit, yeah, that song is hot, though, nigga. <laughs> that, that turned down for Wamu. KY9 says, I got my issues with Doki Doki. It's not like Undertale, where the creepy shit has a purpose. It's a passable story but about depression, but the creepy pasta shit came off as more of shock value to me. Well, so far, I think it's exactly like Undertale, but we'll see. I mean, 
so far, I think the story is just built upon the characters that are involved. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm just going to give it a few more minutes, make sure that everybody settled in here. A lot of people thought I had canceled the stream, but no, nah, we're still good tonight. I'm going to give it like maybe 10 more minutes and then we'll begin. Of course, in this stream, I'm not going to be able to read the chats either. I thought I could get away reading the sponsor chat, but I, I don't know, man. It, it seems like the spoilers are everywhere right now. So even though the chats are literally right there, I will not be able to read a single fucking word. Maybe I'll skim it or glance at it a little bit. KY, man, I'm glad that you were able to share your opinion with us. I don't know. I'm. It actually seems kind of, it seems well-founded to think that. It's just there to creep you the fuck out. And I mean, I honestly like that idea. I mean, the game has that glitch aesthetic already happening for it. Um, I don't know if it gets any worse. <laughs> I think it might get a little worse. <laughs> that's the thing that's scary to me. <laughs> because if I had nightmares the first night. But I think that's just from the initial shock. And now that the, that's done, maybe I'm better prepared. I'm more reinforced. I'm ready to see what kind of fucking shit this game has for me. To be honest with you, Doki Doki Literature Club already had its time to fucking scare the fuck out of me. And that time is done now. I've experienced it. I've seen what this game can dish out. I don't know what else they're going to do to really my add on to that. How can you make it more extreme? Like the kind of scares that I already had, man. I don't see how they're going to pull it off. Already the game, though, it, it's, it's great in my opinion just for the buildup and how, how seriously it takes itself. But now... What can you do to level it up? Am I really going to be fucked up from the rest of this game? I doubt it. I doubt it. I am a veteran of scary shit. I've seen these things before. Your boy is damn near almost 30 years old. I'm 27 going on 28, dog. Trust me. I think this is kind of the... the, the we're we're going to see crazy shit, but I don't think it's going to knock me off my horse like it did the last time we played this thing. But we will see. Lil Chu came through with $50. We're going to give it a few more minutes in here. Make sure everybody's in this bitch. Um, Lil Chu says, am I the first donation you... We're the first probably when you made it, but now nah, KY, he, he beat you to the punch. Um, you get nightmares from Doki Doki. I made this video just for you. Watch it before playing Doki Doki. Nah, a little chew, man. That's a big request. We're not going to watch anything beforehand, but I'll probably check it out afterwards, man. There's not that many donations that are going to happen as of the donation limit being $50 minimum. So not many people are going to be talking, but I'll definitely be able to see the video afterwards. And as a matter of fact, little chew, I'm just going to copy this bitch real quick from here. Have it on the side. Etika, oh, oh, this is the, <laughs> the genie shit? Yeah, I had that. Oh, no, uh, I was already watching a little bit of it. I saw like a minute and eight seconds of that shit earlier. All right, man. I think we're pretty much safe to go. Um, we're good here. I think I think we're good here. 12,000 is a good amount. I think that's enough people from the last stream watching us now. So let's start it up. I, I think I got every single decision that I made in my last save file before I started up a new computer. So... We should be right where we left off, if not like maybe just a little bit before or after, uh, maybe a little bit after, because when I was holding down the skip button, I kind of um, I kind of ran through some text that I, I knew was kind of important. So I, I, I read back on it in the history tab, but we're not that far, like maybe just like maybe five or six sentences of dialogue after the point that I saved the game last time. OK, guys. All right. Are, are we ready? Are we ready, nigga? Let's see what's up, man. Monica, I got my damn eye on you. Making all these damn references. What the hell is her role in this game? You, you want to know what my predictions are? And this is just based off of what I've seen. Like I said, no one spoiled me. I think Monica is really on some flowy shit. I have a feeling that she's the orchestrator of everything. And maybe the other girls don't even exist. If she can easily just erase people or something like that, and she's manipulating the files in the actual folders, then I'm thinking she has to be on some, like, Haruhi Suzumi 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 Mia Haruhi like the, the the girl who's actually god when you find out at the end of the anime um I don't know I, that's my guess though but what would be the motivation maybe she just wants to be and you know what's also creepy the fact that that Monica girl at one point before we ended the stream last time she laughed the same way that Sayori did with the eh <laughs> You know, that puts in mind right there. Maybe she is killing these girls and assimilating their personality attributes so that way she can become the best girl for her senpai, which is me, Desmond Chan. Des Desmond Kun. That, in my opinion, that's what this thing might be. That's my honest to goodness guess. The other girls are just like figments of my imagination or some shit in reality. But then again, what would be the point of that? Why just. Why not just come at me? Why make the girls in the first place if you're just going to kill them and take their attributes? Why not come at me? I don't know. The Monica situation, dog. I, but all I know is she's the orchestrator. She's behind all this fucked up shit. I want to see. All right. Um, Hold on. Before we continue one more time, I just want to make sure that this alert thing is working because I'm not seeing this thing pop up. What the fuck? Where's it at? Where's it at, nigga? Source not using. Okay, there we go. There we go. It's there now. All right. 
I got to redo, you know, this is a new computer, so I have to, well, new hard drive, so I got to literally redo all this shit from scratch. I'm surprised I was able to pull it off this well. All right. Are we ready to go? Are we ready to go? Hold on. Karma Fields with $50. He says, back to LA. Let's fucking go, my boy. Yo, Karma, are you ready for this shit, bro? Listen, man, I, I, I know I still got to check out that music, nigga, but... For now, I'm about to check out this Monica, see what the fuck is up, because I know she's on some savage shit right now, killing motherfuckers out here. Oh, well, did she kill? No, she didn't kill Sayori, but she talked her into killing herself or some shit. This this is fucked up. So how much omnipotence does Monica really have? Is she like a I see all, I hear all type shit? Is she like, I, that's why I think she might be on some god shit, but then why? Why do all of this? KYH and I said earlier in his donation that the game doesn't really have a motivation behind all the fucked up shit that happens in it, so therefore, is it just a girl who's playing god and it has nothing to do and is just doing it to fuck with niggas? How far is she willing to go? If it, is it really all her? I don't know, man. But it makes it seem like it. Obviously, Monica's a person of interest. Let's start the game up. This is no longer about me choosing which girl I think is the best. It's about surviving whatever the fuck is going on in this game whatever the hell monica is on that's what it's all about i will i go into this thinking i'm gonna come out here with a waifu and instead <laughs> instead i'm trying to get i'm trying not to get destroyed by a demon nigga i don't know man karma feels thank you once again my boy i'm gonna talk to you in a bit all right we're about to start this thing up all right here we go hold on Whoa, another big donation, man. God damn. God damn. We got a uh, Golmec. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me. Before, you know what? Like, we got to get the initial stuff out of the way real quick. Let me let me talk to these guys real quick. Golmec came in here. He says, I don't know if you saw my donation message the other day, but thanks for the mod, dude. Let's get into some mischief tonight, bro. I don't know. Like, mischief is reserved for when I'm having fun and I'm doing shit fucked up, but it seems like it's going to be done to me at this rate. But, uh, I mean, hey, I don't I don't really know if I'm going to do the whole mod removal thing as I was initially. Mods are valuable, at least until I'm able to slow down the chat. My, well, they have slow down, but I really want to have the ability to just pause the chat, put a message so everybody can see it so the chat doesn't spam. I mean, at least that way I can get important messages out instead of y'all motherfucking troll-ass niggas spamming that I canceled the stream. Y'all thought I didn't see you do that dumb shit? Yo, he canceled, he canceled. Nigga ain't canceled nothing. Y'all just want to troll niggas. If I had the ability to, like, pause it and put down, hey, I didn't. Then you know, everyone would see it and be like, oh, okay, these are fucking trolls. But, you know, um, thank you very much, though, Gomek. I appreciate that. Uh, I think we had two more donations after you, and then we are ready to begin the stream straight up. Uh, we're going to be str we're going to be beating the game tonight. I'm not I'm not ending the stream until this game is done because I need access to my Twitter again. I don't want to fucking be avoiding my notifications, worried that there's going to be something that pops up. That's the way it always is. Trust me, I've been getting spoiled upon games for years thanks to being a content creator with an open public forum. Therefore, I've been spoiled to so many titles, man. I already know how it goes. So with Doki Doki, it's easy for me to follow the format. I just, oh, avoid this, avoid that. It's easy. Some people think I fake my shit. They're like, oh, you clearly you must have known something. Doki Doki's everywhere. Nigga, do you know how easy it is to just not go on fucking line? <laughs> just check things that you know like your email or something now people are going to send me spoilers in email but it'll be too late because i'm gonna i'm about to beat the game in the stream so yeah yeah i don't get the chance to spoil me you see how smart you see you can't spoil me if i don't check shit <laughs> you know um abandoned shadow with the spawns love thank you this is a game that i really don't want to get spoiled for myself though because of how uh, i guess how plot dependent it is Thank you very much, though. We also had another donation from Spacebar who came in here. Thank you once again, bro. He said, shout out to I'm Salt and Gomank. Those are the boys right there. Gomank, man, this nigga was about to fucking expose me yesterday in the stream, dog. He was fucking pissed My off. Bitch. Nigga was like, fuck Etika. <laughs> Dude, God, but these motherfuckers, oh, I missed the old Etika. God damn it, man. This is the new Etika's ass, man. The, dog, the dude doesn't do anything intimate no more. Like, <laughs> they, hey, they have a fucking point, man. <laughs> the new Etika ain't like the old nigga. The old Etika's done, nigga. <laughs> Else attack on Titan Day, the squad nigga, fuck. RIP, bro. All that shit fell to the wayside. But you know what's funny? I don't talk to anybody. <laughs> I don't talk to anyone online. You, yo, motherfucking Christ Almighty. This is going to be fucked up. I feel bad about this, but God damn it. I feel bad, but you know what? Just to get the message home about how fucking anti-social I am, it's like, look at this shit. I feel so bad, man. I wanted to respond to him earlier, but it was like, God damn it. Look at this, all right? I'm about to show y'all real quick. Motherfucking, so, 
<laughs> cool, let me go back to my DMs. Motherfucking Alpha Rad messaged me. <laughs> he was like, hey, man, how do I download Samurai Kagura? And then before that, he had said to me, it's been three years. How have we not made a video together? Alpha, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Alpha Rad. I don't mean it. I'm such a bad friend. God, so, so don't feel offended if you feel like I don't respond to your shit or you know like i'm i don't talk to anyone <laughs> i really don't i'm so fucking i'm so isolated nigga there's a barrier between me and every other content creator out there all my friends <laughs> so shofu alpha rad motherfucking zero relax relax everybody they're like I don't, where the fuck are you i don't talk to no one <laughs> i feel like shit it's just there's so much things to do there's so many things to do uh, we're gonna give it a few more minutes. We're gonna give it a few more minutes. I want to make sure everybody's in here. We're gonna be doing this game live. I don't want to start before we have like at least the audience that we had before. It's not about the numbers, but it's about the reception. I want to make sure the niggas who are here don't be like, oh man, I missed it. No, nigga, we we've been going. Once I start this thing, we ain't stopping, man. We have the last donation for uh, uh, for now, and this is um, from Freedom Sixty Four once more coming through, bombing the stream. He says, Yo, Etika, fuck boy network. What's up, bro? Um, I take back my statement on the slow pacing. The shit is so intense, and I seriously cannot wait to watch. The, um, wait to watch the rest tonight, my nigga. The anticipation. Now, this is a game which you have to understand, in my opinion, is an exception to the rule of slow games on the stream. All right, this one is different because the the format is nothing like any other games in the similar genre. It's fucked up. It goes out of nowhere. It changes the mold. The game got awards for crying out loud. Yet yeah, um before let, let me let me stall a little bit more actually. We have awards coming in. The guy who made the game, one of the well maybe the head developer of the shit. I posted this on I retweeted his shit on Twitter actually. The nigga, you know, well, without looking at the fucking um Without looking at the comments, the dude had posted and he said, yo, Doki Doki Literature Club won IGN People's Choice for every category it was nominated for. Best PC game, adventure game, story, and most innovative. So this is an exception to the rule. Just like Undertale was, slow paced games usually aren't the kind of wave on my channel like other kinds of games or different stuff that you need. But, but this, dog, whatever Doki did, well, whenever I'm about to experience, what I've experienced so far, is already, so far has already fucked me up. But what I'm about to experience now, I'm looking forward to it. How the fuck it win that many awards? It won everything it was nominated for. That's major. Absolute major, man. Um, Erica, the mic is muted? The mic is muted, really? Oh, shit, really? Oh, fuck. Hold on a second. Whenever I'm about to experience... Oh, fuck. Absolute major, man is muted the mic is muted really oh it's not muted it sounds good to me oh damn y'all trolled me yeah okay good shit y'all got me <laughs> y'all got me no no wait, no i should have known nowhere near as many people were saying mic muted as they would be if the mic was actually muted nigga fuck <laughs> i got trolled again bro fuck <laughs> Got you niggas. Anyways, yo, the motherfucking coins are dipping. Yo, Bitcoin. Bitcoin is out of here. Wait a minute. Where's my holdings at? Where's my holdings at, bro? Binance. Where's my holdings, bro? How much? <laughs> I got you niggas. <laughs> got y'all niggas. Y'all want to troll me? I troll you back. <laughs> Fuck, nigga. Goddamn. My, my, my crypto. I'm losing everything, bro. Damn. Dogs, look at Bitcoin, all-time low. Why is the price falling so low? A nigga's losing his investments. Yo. Well, you know what? Whatever. I'm about, I'm about to sell on the stream. Dog, I'm not playing around here. Dog, Bitcoin going down. <laughs> Bitcoin going down. <laughs> uh, wait a minute. Bitcoin Cash is down. Ethereum's down. Litecoin at 259 my boy, he's prices. Where's Verge at though? Hold on, don't tell me Verge is fucked up. Nigga, no, no, no. Nigga, no, no, no. 
Bro. Bro. Okay, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Verge. Verge down to 10 cents? Dogs. Yo, I need to sell right now. We about to play Doki Doki. I'm about to lose my money. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, my God. Well, you know what? I I'll save this for later. I, I can't. Verge down to 10 cents. Dude. Wow. Litecoin at 253? Bitcoin at fucking 13 grand. About to drop below 13. Dog, I need I think I need to sell. I'm trying I'm not trying to lose everything. I gotta sell damn, I don't know, dog. I, I, you know what? No, no, no. I, I'm in the game. I'm holding on to these coins, man. I'm holding on to my damn coins. I'm not giving up. No, no, no. Scared money don't make no money, man. Fuck it. I got eleven thousand verge right now, bro. This is the next coin. I thought the, the, I thought you were the next one. Ding ding jumped up to sixteen cents the other day. Damn my ripple, my Cardona. Shit. Ah, uh, whatever, man. Whatever. Let's see what happens. Okay, are we ready? Are we about to get into this, man? I'm not selling. I'm not selling, bro. Whatever will be, will be. I'm not even in that much. I mean, fuck it. It's only like 2.5 grand, which is, you know, a lot of money in some regard. But in investing in crypto and, you know, that's not that much money. It's a lot of money outside of that. But in in, in that field, it's like, meh. Let's see what happens. All right. You know what? We're not going to let that down the mood. We're going to let this game down the mood instead. All right. Let's do it. Um, now, you know what I got to do, right? <laughs> you know, I got to do an audio test. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, well, then again, no, I think we're good. I think we're good. All right. Let's start. Let me get into this. We're going into Doki Doki mode. All right. Doki Doki. Okie Doki. So these two, aren't they going to have their argument again? The one where they were like, oh, yeah, what's better, basic or complex styles of writing? The language, I guess. I was trying to say something else. So here we go. So they're going to... They're gonna shit on each other now, right? The argument. We remember this. And Desmond liked it too. So I remember last time that I was in engaged with this equation, I went with Natsuki. Maybe this time I'm gonna go with Yuri. Just to see if there's anything different. Desmond liked my poem too, yeah. Okay, here we go. And then she says she stuffed her bra. Her boobs got bigger out of nowhere. Nothing weird is happening so far though. Uh, we got a new sponsor. Thank you, Jacob. Don't skip it. Uh, uh, oh, I'm not gonna skip it as much. No, I'll film myself. I would. Okay. It looks the same though so far. Yeah, and then here we go. The, the boot part. She stuffed that bra. She didn't, need, didn't even stuff it though. I mean, she seems good to me. Then Monica comes in. This doesn't involve you. Monica gets blown the fuck out. What? 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 Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, shit. Holy shit! What's going on? My dick! Yo! My dick! What's going on? What's go- What the hell's going on here? What's going on here? Yo! 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 Hold on, classical world, thank you, thank you. Yo! Alright, something's fucked up. Did you- Wait, what?! This conversation's getting crazy! Yo, wait, most people get on with this other good. If you want to prove anything, stop harassing other- They really can counterbalance your toxic personality by dressing at the kid. One thing cute about it, huh? Be careful. Whoa, be careful, you might cut yourself on that edge, Yuri. Wait, you already do, don't you? Cut yourself?! Did you just accuse me of cutting myself? Where is this conversation going? Let me check the- let me check the folder. Yo, classical world, thank you. Um... Can I save the game? He says, Yo, Etika, man, I don't need a few times on stream, mainly the Splatoon 2 stream. We are on a ride with this Game Boy. By the way, hold on to your Bitcoin. Ride the waves out, man. Yeah, I'm gonna ride it out, bro. There's no way I'm selling right now, dog. Hey, it'll jump back up. All right, hold on, we're back. What the fuck is wrong with your head? Something's up here. Everyone's talking so aggressive to each other. 
Yeah, go on. Let Desmond hear everything you really think. I'm sure he'll be head over heels for you after this. They're t so it's like everything's coming out in the open now. What? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I think I fucked up. I'm gonna quit. I think I fucked something up. I accidentally skipped a bunch of fucking text I didn't mean to. Hold on, restart this thing. Restart it. They said some crazy shit to each other. These girls were like taking pot shots. Okay, we're back. Alright, do you just accuse me of cutting myself? And then go on. Let him hear what you really think. I'm sure he'll be head over heels for you. And then What? What? Suddenly Yuri turns toward towards me. Desmond, what? She's trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. What? What? Whoa, whoa, whoa! What am I even choosing here? What's the choice? Yuri! Yuri! Yo, this is getting fucking insane. Okay, you know what? I'm ready for it. Bring it on. What's gonna happen? What's gonna Yuri! I choose Yuri! Yuri! It wants me to choose Natsuki? Oh, it's Monica! Monica? What? Yo! What's going on here? Yo, tell us who you are right now. Tell us what's going on, Monica. Hey, Desmond, what? What's up? Why don't we step outside? Outside where, Monica? What the hell is going... Why are you acting like nothing's happening here? What? Monica! I know she's behind all this. Monica! Mashy Potato says, my guy, after this run of Doki Doki, don't worry, no spoilers ahead. Please go back and get the good ending. It was worth all the time I put into this game. I don't know what you're talking about, bro, but I'll look it up afterwards. I mean, I don't know. Is there a way to beat the game? We'll, we'll, we'll see. Thank you. Mashy Potato, I'll keep that in mind. Good ending, whatever. Is there even a good ending to this? Like... Some president I am now. I can't even confront my club members. I wish I was able to be assertive. I never put my foot down. You understand, right? I don't understand shit. I'd be happy to spend time with you. What? She's crying? What happened, Natsuki? Oh, dear. Well, it looks like they're done. So Monica wants to spend time with me. I didn't mean it. What? She's rocking back and forth in her desk with her palms on her forehead. What? What's going on? Why did this get so aggressive? I don't have any idea what they said or did. Desmond, please don't hate me. There's something wrong with me today. We know you didn't mean it. She'll forget about it by tomorrow. Complete. I don't like how assured you are of this, Monica. You seem way too... The meeting's over, you can go home. Is the literature club even going to be good? She keeps glancing at Monica. You can go first, Monica. I'd like to stay a little bit longer. I'm the president, so I should be the last one out. She is a scary son of a bitch. I'll tell you that much, man. Monica. Oh, my God. And I was interested in seeing what the hell was good with her earlier on. Turn off skip. Wait, what? Hold on. I just saw, I just saw someone. Um, turn off skip unseen text. It'll fuck shit up. Oh, whoop. My bad. I had that. Fuck them. Fucking my bad, dudes. I was using it to get to the point that I was at now after my game fucking up from yesterday. Oh, from the last time I played. I'll wait for you to be done. Well, I'm the vice president, so please let me take that responsibility today. It sounds like you don't want me around for something, Yuri. Yo! I'm telling you. So wait, so Yuri has... Is there some sort of... Whatever the hell happened, is there some sort of way that Yuri is able to have inside knowledge, sort of similar to how Sans, he didn't understand the multiverse thing, but he knew enough of it to know that there were other, like, he, he wasn't aware, like, when you reset the game, he was like, oh, okay, well, time to take you down, but the nigga knew, there, there's, you did this before, he, it's like she knows, it sounds like you don't want me around for something, it's not that, yeah, right, it's not that, but Yuri's looking at fucking Monica, scared as fuck, I just didn't, get much of a chance to discuss my book with Desmond. Yuri, call me on the phone. Tell me what the fuck is going on here. Who is this motherfucker? 
It'll be embarrassing. Yeah, right. Monica, she knows, bro. I guess I really don't have a choice. I'm sorry for causing trouble, but I really- Oh! What? What the fuck? Dogs! Dogs! When she said I don't have a choice, I thought she was gonna do something like, okay, well, fine, you can stay, I'll go. But. Mm -mm. So we know she, there's something fucked up. But I really. Oh. Hold on, let me go back, make sure my audio is good. What? I was in trouble. But I really. Oh. 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 Fuck, nigga. Damn. Damn. Okay. So now let's. Okay, who can we get? Let's get- I, We need to talk to Yuri. I gotta choose stuff for Yuri. Destiny. There we go. De determination. What else was she like? Um, disown. Depression. What? She likes depression now? So all the words that used to apply to uh, Sayori go now to Yuri. Disaster. This one. Massacre. Alright, we're gonna go complete Yuri. She needs to get a chance to talk to us or something. Unending. Anger. Anger? Anger go... Wow. Was that always a thing? Okay, so, hopefully, oh man, I don't know if I'm ready for this shit, I don't know if I'm ready for this shit, Yuri, what's up, open up to a nigga, I've gotten more comfortable here, good for you, the usual scene greets me, that's not usual dogs, Yuri is fucking glitching, what's up Yuri, I'm not sure if it's me or her expression, but the weight of yesterday's quarrel still hangs in the air. What's up? What's up? She's reading manga? Monica ain't here yet? Yuri takes my arm and pulls me to the corner of the room. About yesterday. I really need to apologize. Nothing like that's ever happened before. Something came over me. I wasn't acting mentally sound. Please don't think that we're usually like this. Not just me, but Natsu. I'm glad you apologized, don't worry. Even though I've been here a few days, something was fucked up. We could be a little extra sensitive, we're sharing poems and whatever, but that, whatever it was, it didn't make me think any less of you. So, is Monica trying to cause this? Is she trying to make them fight? But for what purpose? What's the reasoning? I decided there's no way you can be a bad person, and you're apologizing. I know you didn't really mean it. Des, don't say those things so frankly. They make me a little too happy. Well, I'm glad you're an understanding person. And I'm really glad that you joined this. Everything's a bit brighter with you around. What? What's up? No, it's fine. Talk to me. Have you seen Monica? No? I was wondering where she was. She's usually the first in here, right? I'm guessing you haven't seen her either, Yuri. Yuri is cl clearly taken aback by how calm Natsuki is addressing her. No? This isn't like her at all. I know it's stupid, but I can't help but worry a little bit. I'm not worried about shit, but then again, I am. I want to keep my eye on Monica, and if she's not in the scene, there's something fucked up going on. Why are you looking at me like that? About yesterday. I'm sorry. I didn't mean any of that. And I'll stay calm. Why? What do you... Didn't Monica say that Natsuki won't remember a damn thing at all? So she erased her memory. Monica erased her memory and... Why, could, why couldn't she do the same thing to Yuri then if she was so intent on making it so nothing happened? Did you do something yesterday? You're... Whatever's on your mind, I'm sure it was nothing. And where's this text coming from? Is this like Kara talking or some shit? I don't even remember anything bad happening. You're the kind of person who worries about... Wait, you're the kind of person who worries too much about the little things, aren't you? Bro. 
So now we're not even thinking about Sayori right now. What's going on with my file folder? Is everything good? No, not no, everything's not good. There's a new file right here, dogs. Read me. A new read me. Is this? No, everything's good there. Everything's good there. There's a new one right here. What's this? What? All right, so there's something else. I think this is this like messages from Sayori or something? I hate this. I can't wait. Let me word wrap it. I can't do anything. Nothing. No matter how many times you play, it's all the same. It would really, really, it would be really, really easy to kill myself right now. But that would mean that I don't get to talk to you anymore. All I want is for you to hate them. Why is that so hard? And this sounds like it's coming from Monica. Fuck. All right, I'm seeing the same message posted in the chat. I'm gonna look. I don't know. I never. Mind. I don't see shit. All right, but what? Oh, okay. We we are on some. This is some Undertale shit, bro. This is the kind of game Doki Doki is. This is the game that won People's Choice. Doki Doki Literature Club. This is what it is now. Are we really about to do this? This is it. Poster? What the fuck is the post? What do you mean a poster? Poster? I'm 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 like done right now. I didn't know it was gonna go to this level, bro. Mibble silk. So we're just we're just saying random words now, huh? What's going on, Monica? What is all this? I'll accept. Oh my fucking nigger. If it helps you feel better, besides, kind of nice to hear. I was afraid that you hated me or something. Oh my god. This this game is literally going out of its way to be the. F <laughs> Dogs. So what is Monica possessing Natsuki? And where's that big smile coming from? I don't hate you. Well, you're weird, but I don't hate you either. She turns to me. You're still on trial, though. Ha <laughs> ha. I could laugh, but I mean, I know something's fucked up, so there's no humor here. The door swings open. <laughs> Perfect donation timing. Perfect timing. RPG Master says, real talk, take your Verge and invest that shit into Ripple. It's going to be on Coinbase next, meaning it will skyrocket. It's the only coin that the banks like, making it official. Remember me, my boy. RPG Master, I've heard the same thing from a lot of people, dog. I appreciate the suggestion. RPG Master says, put all that shit into Ripple. Ripple's down. Excuse me. Ripple's down right now, but I, I'll gladly will. I got like 699 Ripple. Thank you very much, RPG Master. Um, Monica says, sorry I'm super late. What's going on? There you are. Didn't mean to be late. So why do you want us to hate them, Monica? Nah. Well, Natsuki was. I was not. What took you so long anyways? Well, my last period today was study hall. But to be honest, I sort of lost track of time. Well, that makes no sense, though. You would have heard the bell ring, at least. I must have not heard it since I was practicing piano. Piano? I wasn't aware you played music as well, Monica. They don't give me more credit than I deserve. Isn't she like a superstar or whatever? But I guess I've been practicing for a while. Not good at it yet. Still, that's dedication. I'm impressed. Well, thanks, Yuri. You should play something for us sometime. That's, uh... She looks at me. Well, I'm working on a song, but it's not done. When I get better, I will. Sounds good. Look forward to it. Is that so? In that case, I won't let you down, Desi. She smiles. Don't matter! Dogs, these donations are not fucking helping. That shit scared the fuck out of me. Oh, my God. <laughs> now it's not the time for these things, bro. You scared the fucking Christ out of me. Nigga, god damn. First off, Merry Christmas, my dude, and happy holidays to you, too. Secondly, I finished sending out my college apps. Is there any advice you can... Now's not the time for that right now, VX. I appreciate the donation, but I'll give you some advice soon. But right now, it's like, that's going to take me completely out of my element to focus on helping a nigga out in his studies. But best of luck to you, my friend. I will get back to your donation once everything comes to a climax, all right? Thank you for, thank you for supporting the channel, man. Really do appreciate it. Let's get back to finding out what the fuck this bitch is about to do. Because I'm scared, nigga. She smiles. Whenever she smiles, though. Ah, no pressure. Don't worry about it. I wanted to share it with you anyways. That's why I've been practicing so much. I see. Is she referring to the whole club or me? Any in that case, best of luck. Thanks. So I didn't miss anything, did I? You know damn well you didn't miss anything, Monica. You're aware of everything. I didn't bring up what we, the three of us talked about. And besides, Natsuki ran in the closet. Dez, since your compliments are, put me in a good mood, would you like to spend some time together today? 
in the club. Yeah, sure thing, Yuri. I really want to get into it. Like, oh yeah, you know, that sounds good to me. Real, you know, real, real, real kawaii shit. But I'm just waiting until the next fucked up thing happens. I don't want to get too comfortable at this point. I don't think I could say no to you after you gave that book to me. Well, I guess I need to make sure Knotts isn't waiting for me. After we finished reading yesterday... After we finished reading yesterday, the shit with the eyes, she... She's fine. She's reading over there. So it's okay, right? In that case, there's no problem. Okay. Can we start now? Let's find a place to sit. I'm being a little forceful, aren't I? Uh, you know what? I kind of like girls that take initiative, so it's fine with me, Yuri, but... My heart won't stop pounding for some reason. Don't worry about it. If anything, it's nice to see you have so much energy. It's better not be heart pounding on some Death Note Kira Mikami shit. On some Monica shit. I need to calm down. Take your time. Are we going to read together again? What's it about? The book is The Portrait of Markov. We remember this. The eye symbol. It's like a real fucking serious story. He didn't think that she would be into that. Facility gets word. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. I remember this, I remember this. What? The poster! Holy shit! Is that Sayori, my nigga? The poster, my boy! <laughs> What's Monica doing? Why is this relevant? VX9, thank you once again, man, for the donation, but um, I'm just... So, you know what? Yuri, I can't even get into getting close to you now. We got a picture of motherfucking Sayori on some fisherman shit back there. This. My dick! Oh my god. My dick! Original Kevin saying, yo, here comes that bullshit. Beat a nigga ass till the DJ drop music. Merry freaking Christmas, my dude. I'm sorry if it scared you. <laughs> Too late for that, nigga. You fucking almost made me piss myself. That one with Bayonetta. That shit screamed loud as fuck. Thank you very much, though, Kev. God damn it, man. Merry Christmas to you too, my boy. I appreciate the season's greetings. Happy holidays, man. I hope so. I totally forgot she's into those things. She's signed recluse on the outside. What am I paying attention? What, what's really happening here? Why go through everything again? Okay. Then suddenly, what? Why is no one aware of this? What does he see? What does our character see in the real world when he sees this fucked up text? I haven't lost interest or anything. Well, it's all right then. I have this problem. When I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts, my whole body gets what? Excuse me? What? It doesn't pop up there. Wait, no, no, it does. We have to go one more. We have to go one more. So I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. Here we go. Fucking Christ, what did she just say? I gotta pull it up on my on my stream, um, on my own stream. But because the world is full of horrible people, and then fucking Christ, man, my whole body gets incredibly something. All right. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's start reading, bro. You want to take a seat right next to me? And it's weird, though. Wait, she, maybe she's not telling me about the whole thing with... Remember how she wanted to talk to me the first day? She's not telling me that probably because Monica's here now. So maybe Monica isn't omnipotent. You seem apprehensive. I'm sorry. I don't want to. It's just something I'm not used to. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Sit your ass down already, man. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I know things are... Man, I can't believe the first time I went through this, I was actually thinking it was some cute shit. She's reading from my book. Wait, what? Come on. I keep missing these things. They go so fast. They don't stay there. They don't stay on the screen. They literally come and go. Click the poster? I'm not... I'm clicking it. This is some demonic shit, bro. Yeah, it's a... <laughs> it's a good thing I'm not strictly religious. Hold on, I gotta see that again. Yeah, this, is a, <laughs> this is some fucking. I gotta see what that said, man. I got. I'm. I'm just out of my own curiosity. Oh fuck! It went so fast. 
Maybe it's not that important. Maybe I don't have to spend so much time reading the black text. I was just bathing in the what? I was just bathing in the what, my nigga? Oh my god, it happened so fast. Jesus. I gotta see it. This might be like, what if it's text that's like, important? Oh, it's too fast. I can't catch it, man. I, I, I tried. I really tried. It's not, it's not possible. It just vanishes. Sorry. I mean... I'm clicking the poster, nothing's happening. Okay, shoulders touching. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, man, I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting for it. Okay, we're close. We're getting real intimate and all that. I'm waiting for the demons to pop up. I'm reading it, though. I'm seeing if there's anything weird. Okay, they're being cute. I didn't realize that sometimes the eyes change position, so they're looking at me. Instead, I just assume we continue the first chapter in silence, turning each page. Hey, Yuri. Wait, let me save the game. Let me save it. Again, I don't know why I'm saving it so much, but... Yo, we got another one coming in here. God damn, got a green HX saying, yo, Yuri is the cutest. Um, have a fun stream, dude. I hope he gets I hope this gets uploaded. Yeah, this should be now that there's no technical problems. Um satellite internet in the Galapagos is a hella choppy. Hold on a second, my man's in yo, hold on. What? Damn dog, you you want what, what kind of place are you Madagascar nigga? <laughs> I don't know. I'm um, glad you fixed your SSD. Thank you, man. Also visit the sponsor Discord sometime. Discord, man, I, it's not the best recipe for me, man. But you know what? I'll consider popping in there once in a while. You know that Discord, man, bought me a lot of grief. <laughs> but hey, yeah, as long as niggas, uh, well, I don't know. <laughs> Let the Discord be Discord, I guess. You can't control it. Fuck it. Um, thank you very much, though, God. Nice to see you in here, man. Happy Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. The character reminds me of. Okay. Oh, a facial expression change. That happened in the previous one, though, right? It's just... Uh, are you feeling alright? She's been fidgety ever since we started reading. Yeah, your breathing is a little... My breathing puts her hand on her chest to feel a heartbeat. I didn't notice. Anyways, I'm fine. I need water. Don't push yourself. She stands up and rushes out the classroom. What was that all about? What the fuck? Did something happen just now? Yes, something happened just now, Monica. Yuri wasn't feeling like that the first time we went through this, this scenario. Huh? I got no idea. She was acting a little bit strange, I guess. And Snafu. Sound like Shofu. He came through. He said, my boy, slow down your tech speed in settings. You're welcome, chat. Seasons greetings to you. Oh, hold on a minute. Now, now, all right, now that's a good idea. I'm going to tone that shit down. Just so we at least we can keep up with these messages that happen here. Thank you for the tip, man. I appreciate that. Happy holidays to you, Snafu. Thank you for the donations, guys. Really do appreciate it, man. Y'all motherfuckers are making me have a motherfucking Kris Kringle holiday right now. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. You enabled me to buy the hard drive that I needed last minute to be able to get the streams on track so that way there's no technical difficulties, right? <laughs> so, hey, it's good. She was acting strange. So you don't know anything. Nani? Nani? So you don't know anything. Triple dot. Someone could tell me, maybe? Are you worried about her? Not really. I was just making sure that you didn't do anything to her. Nothing. Don't worry, I believe you, silly. She just does it sometimes. It's nothing alarming. If you say so, why don't we start with sharing our poems? Let's wait for Yuri. She might be a while. Is that okay? I was just asking. Stand up, make a mental note of where I left off in the book, slip it into my bag. What the fuck, nigga? That didn't happen the first time. Yuri is completely excluded from the second day. Natsuki, what's up with you? Hmm. I liked your last one better. Well, I can tell that you were a bit more daring with this one. But you're really not good enough for that. It fell flat. I want to try something different. I'm figuring this all out. Fair enough, you're new to this. I wouldn't expect you to find your style right away. Everyone writes really different. You'll find influence from all of us. For instance, I noticed you were spending some time with Yuri today. Not that I care who you spend time with. 
I was taught never to expect anything from anybody. So it's not like I was waiting for you or anything. You soon to Ray ass. You should look over my poem. You'll probably be able to learn something from it. The spider's poem, yep. Yeah. I remember this one. It's the same one. Not bad. It's a bit longer than yesterday's, yeah. I was warming up. Of course not. The message is straight. You ain't gotta explain nothing. Everyone has some kind of, yep, yep, we know. We've seen that. This makes people still who cares as long as they're not hurting anyone. Damn right. Damn right. Such as two girls in this very club whom I respectfully won't name. Kind of ironic that even in one place of comfort, I can't have people respect me. Now you're making me complain too much. What did I do? For what it's worth, I respect you. I guess, thanks. But it's kind of obvious that you respect Yuri more. They didn't get to have that argument and me choose Natsuki over Yuri. Maybe the decision from the first playthrough would make a difference, but I don't know. This one, I, I, I'm still confused, man. Whatever, we're done sharing, you can leave. Monica, bring that ass here. My girl. My demon. This, this has to be a fucking demon. How's the writing going? It's okay. I'll take that. As long as it's not going bad, I'm happy you're applying yourself. Maybe you'll come up with a masterpiece. I wouldn't count on that. You never know. You want to share what you wrote here today? Oh, I gave a poem to Monica. Okay. Great job, Des. I was going O oh, in my head while reading it. It's really metaphorical. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. I underestimated you. It's easy for me to give it. Uh, yeah, I remember that from last time. Anyways, it worked. You know, Yuri likes this writing that's full of imagery. Her mind is totally detached from reality, but it's not a bad thing. Sometimes I get the impression she's totally given up on people. Is that new? I don't know. She spends so much time in her own head, it's more of an interesting place for her. That's why she gets so happy when you treat her with a lot of kindness. I don't think she's used to being indulged like that. She must be starved for social interaction. Is that new? Nigga, this doesn't sound like the last time. Like earlier. I think if she gets too stimulated, she ends up withdrawing and looking for alone time. What the fuck? Suddenly the door opened. Is Yuri back? Hey, what's up? I'm back. Did I miss anything? Not really. Well, we're sharing our poems. Already? I'm sorry for being late. No need to apologize. We got plenty of time. Okay, thanks. I got my poem. Anyways, you want to read mine now? Yeah, I remember this one. Whoa, 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 okay, never mind. Wow. This one's a little bit different now. The colors, the way beautiful. The noise, it won't stop. Violent, gratting, sine, cosine, tangent. I remember that part. And then, like, like playing a chalkboard on a turntable, like playing a knife on a breathing rib cage. Wow. Delete her. Didn't it say load me last time? Excuse me? Monica, what's up? What's up, Monica? What's up, Monica? Really? Really? Okay. That shit said load me last time. Now it says delete her. The fuck is the deal? <sighs> fuck. I'm trying to... Well, never mind. Don't gotta explain it. Shit, it's a fucking... <laughs> it's a fucking visual novel. Here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes, you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. An edgy trash can, thank you, man. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. You never know when, um... Who am I talking to? Can you hear me? Tell me you can hear me. Anything. Oh, fuck my life, nigga. Fuck my life, nigga. Is there something new? Can you hear me? Is this new? Trace back? Is there something here? That's my advice for today. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck is going on? What the fuck is this? Okay, thanks for listening. My pleasure. Now, Yuri. 
You coming in here? Give me some information, please. I've been waiting. Let's see what you've written for today. I bet her poem's gonna have a secret message in it. That's what it's gonna be. Do you like it? Des, how'd you pick up on this so fast? I was telling you techniques worth practicing. Maybe that's why you did a good job explaining everything. I wanted to give it more imagery. She visibly swallows, her hands are sweaty. Knees weak, arms are heavy. <laughs> that makes me so happy. It's amazing to feel like I'm valued, Desmond. Everything you write is a treasure to me. That is really fucking sweet. It's a goddamn shame that this isn't an actual, real dating simulator. Because otherwise, I would definitely choose Yuri. But things aren't gonna end that way, right? No way in fucking hell. Well, maybe it will be in hell by the end of it all. My heart pounds holding it. I want to write a poem about this feeling. Is that bad, Desmond? I'm not being weird, right? You're being a regular girl. It's fucking Monica who's on her demonic shit right now. It's fucking Monica. The viewers are going up. We have 20,866 viewers right now. I have the fucking harrowing feeling that something fucked up is about to happen. But you know what? I'm fine. Let's keep going. I'm embarrassed for right now. I, something's gonna happen, dog. I already know. I can already fucking tell. Okay, read my poem. Here we go. Here we go. Here. We now, here's the weird thing. There's no music, number one. And number two, there's a weird stain on the fucking, on the, on the paper. A rotating wheel, turning an axle, grinding. Falling sky, a docked ship, portal to another world. A thin rope tied to a thick rope. Expanding universe, time. Uh, this is some, this is some abstract shit. Is there like a hidden message here or something? A kaleidoscope of blood written in clocks. A prayer connecting to a sky of 40, t 40 gears. And human eyes in all directions. What? A clock that ticks 40 times every time it ticks this every second. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Something's repeating. Breathing portal. Breathing snakes. Breathing God. Breathing blood. Breathing. Breathing. Breathing, breathing, breathing. Yuri, what's up? It doesn't matter what it's about. I think it does. My mind has been a little hyperactive lately, so I had to take it out on your pen. Oh, I'm about to skirt, skirt. Me Hold on, let me get a tissue. I'm about to skirt, skirt. That is, a pen fell out of your backpack yesterday, so I took it home for safekeeping. All right, so now she's, Yuri went from being like the deep sort of um, introverted girl to herself for the most part and became like, like some, on some Darja shit. I really like the way that your pen writes. So I wrote the poem with your pen and now you're touching it. I'm okay. What did I just... Can we pretend this conversation never happened? Hmm, you can keep the poem though. Did she nut on the poem? Was that what that stain was? And we have a new special poem. Show it to me. I was wandering in an abandoned warehouse. I come out of an empty room. It's ceiling and walls beyond a deep blackness. Steps were quick in order to hurry to the other side. The ground was no longer beneath my feet. Here we go. What's up, Monica? What's going on here? So there's a pulsing now. There's veins on the side of the fucking screen, my boy. We got 21, 2000. We got 21,229 viewers in here. This is it. Is this where things. Monica. Well, we're all done reading poems. Why is this happening? Why is this legitimately going on? Is she trying to do something to me? Is this about the festival? This is making me feel kind of uncomfortable. How deep is this game gonna go to fucking- to fuck with me? If there's anyone that can explain something, please do so as soon as humanly possible. We'll end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting- Whoa! And everything just blacked out. 
So what's up? What's up? That sounded like... Do I click the screen? What the fuck? Where, where's that folder, bro? Anything else here? Log? I'm not seeing shit. Don't worry so much. We're gonna keep it simple, okay? Look, everyone's been more lively since Desmond joined and we started with club activities. I think I saw a comment that said, that sounded like some good pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Christ. We still only have four members and the festival is our only real chance to find more. What's great about getting new members anyways? We're an official club now. Everything gets noisier and difficult. Natsu, you're not looking at it the right way. You want to share your passion with people, don't you? Inspire them to find feelings that found you in the first place. The club is a place where we can express themselves. It should be a place intimate and one that you don't want to leave. I know you feel that way. We all do. That's why we need to put something together, even if it's small. Right, Desi? Oh, come on. You can't take advantage of Des to agree with you. Come on, look, Monica. Do you really think any of us here join the club with other people in mind? Yuri never even talked to Desmond. Wait, Yuri never even talked until Desmond joined. As for me, I just like it better here than I do at home. And wasn't she saying at some point, wasn't Natsuki saying that she's like beaten by her father? Like the reason why she keeps her manga in the closet is because her father would beat the shit out of her if he found that stuff with her. And Desmond isn't even passionate about <laughs> literature in the first, you know, she's, she's still being truthful, even if there's a fucking demon in the room. And that's everyone. Sorry, but you're the only one who's interested in finding new members. The rest of us are fine like this. You're prez, but you should consider our opinions for once. Are you about to go Sodom and Gomorrah on these niggas, Monica? She's clearly taken back by Natsuki's words. That ain't true at all. Are you about to delete her now, Monica? Yuri and Desmond want to get members too, right? I don't know about Yuri, but I'm indifferent as fuck. If I showed enthusiasm like Monica wanted, then I'd probably be lying. If it's up to me to rescue this situation. No. Natsuki's right, isn't she? This club. It's nothing more than a place for a few people to hang out. Damn. Why did I think everyone here saw it the same way I- Damn! No, 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 that's a fucking demon. I'm not fucking listening to you, Monica. You're a- No, no, no. I'm not feeling any sympathy for this girl. That doesn't mean we're against getting new members. Dez, why do you even- Why did you even join this club? You fucking forced me. You you fucking morning star ass motherfucker. What were you hoping to get out of it? Well, cute girls. But I guess that's not in the equation now. It seems the only thing here are... In fact, if I remember, you weren't even given a choice not to join. She sits downstairs at her desk. What's the point of all this anyways? What if starting this place was a mistake? Now you've done it, Natsu. What, me? I spoke my mind. Is it a crime to be honest? It's not about being honest. It's about word choice. Besides, you have no right to speak for everyone in the club like that. Little brat. You don't understand. I just want a place that feels nice to hang out with a few friends. Is there a problem with the club doing that for me? There aren't many other places like that for me. Damn. And now, Monica wants to take it away from me. She ain't taking anything away. No, Des. It's not the same. It won't be the same with the direction she wants to take it. If I wanted that, then I could have joined any other stupid club. But this one. I mean, at least for a little bit of time, things were nice. She packs up her things. I'm going home? I feel like I don't belong here right now. Wow. Natsu just straight up left the club. Well, she's the next to die. I don't know what to do. Well... Do you have an opinion on the festival? Let's find shelter as soon as possible. How about that? I'm indifferent, I guess. <gasps> Fuck my life, nigga! Save the fucking game. Save that shit. Who, who cares about her, right? I mean... 
I like how quiet the club is. I'm happy with you here. Still, I'm the VP. It's not right for me to ignore responsibilities. Of course. So, who's saying this? Is this... Is, is this the inside of Yuri's mind? Is this her real thoughts, or is this just Monica manipulating them? No one would cry if she killed herself. What about you, Desmond? What do you want to get out of this club? She repeats the same question as Monica. I decide giving an indirect answer is better than nothing. I think the most important thing is for everybody to get along in the club to give you something you can't get anywhere else. I don't think it's about how many members we got, but the quality. That'll make this place special. I see. I agree. Every member contributes their own way. With change in members, the identity will change too. That's not a bad thing. Stepping out of your comfort zone once in a while. So if you would like to help Monica with the festival, I'm on your side. Okay. Let's talk to Natsu tomorrow. She nods. Hey, Yuri. What? <clears throat> I know that things were awkward yesterday. A little bit, maybe. But I feel like you deserve to know that I think you're a wonderful VP. And a friend, too. Monica. Is Monica truly the source of everything, or does everyone have a role to play in this? But then how does Sayori get wiped off the face of the planet like she doesn't exist out of nowhere? Did she manipulate things? Okay. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> Let's all go home for today. We'll talk about the festival tomorrow. Shall we go, Desi? Um... Please don't take it the wrong way, but I'm going to chat a bit with Desmond before we leave. Just to see what he thinks of his time here and all that. I think that's in that's needed right now, Monica. I would love to have a discussion with you. Let's have let's sit down. Want me to get some tea and crumpets, my boy? It's important to me as president. She's troubled, but she doesn't protest. Are you troubled because you think Monica's gonna swoosh swoosh on me? Or because you know what's up? I trust your judgment. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace, nigga. She waves, Yuri dips. Phew! Things have been a bit hectic lately, haven't they? Des, I wanted to make sure that you're enjoying your time at the club. I really would hate to see you unhappy. I'm responsible for that, as president. Here we fucking go. And I really do care about you, you know? I have the feeling you do. You actually like me a lot. But then why does that qualify me to see this demonic shit that you have? I don't like seeing the other girls give you a hard time with how Natsuki is and everything. And Yuri is a bit, you know. Aha. It feels like you and I are the only real people here. There's some more confirmation of my theory. The other girls don't really exist, do they? You know what I mean. Yeah, I think I have a feeling, Monica. But it's weird. All the time you've been here, we never spent time together. I was wondering that from the beginning, my girl. How come you're not there when I try to make my word poem thing? I mean, it's technically only been a couple days. Sorry, I didn't mean to say something weird. There's some things I've been hoping to talk about with just you. Things I know only you could understand. That's why... Wait, not yet. No? What? Is it Monica? I thought Monica was the source. There's something else going on here, bro. What? What? There's something else going on. Holy shit. I was hoping I could spend some time talking to you. No, wait, it's too soon. Not yet. Wow. Alright, you know what? We're gonna go for Natsuki this time. Dazzle. Shopping. Puppy. Wait, the, 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 the fucking 1,111 out of 20. Nice, fun. It's doing it different now. It's just listed in like, every time we choose one, just adds a one to the list. Who was that? What the fuck? What the fuck? Nigga. Dark? Hop? Who was that down there? Flower? What was the word that we chose? What was the word that we chose to get that jump? Who was that? What was that word? I need to see that word. Vanilla. Vanilla. So, like cute stuff, candy. Marriage? 
How are you? No, Rose. There we go. That's fucking. That's fucking. That's. Who is that? Some. Um... No, no. I mean, I mean, I know it's Monica, but it's gotta be. It's, it's definitely Monica. Bliss. What was the second word? Maybe I can like dedu deduce what words get her working. Sunset. Kawaii. Rose. So we have vanilla rose. Vanilla rose milk. Doki Doki. Damn it. I can't find her. Here? Fuck! Papa? We're getting something out of someone. I just don't know the words that work for her. What's up, Des? Nothing much. I've been waiting for you. You ready to continue reading? I bought my best tea today. Monica. I told you not to... Huh? Is she really late again? Inconsiderate as usual, Natsuki. Excuse me? Must you always interrupt my conversations with your incessant yelling? Here we go. They got them fucking arguing again. What are you talking about? You say it like I do it on a regular basis. I just wasn't paying attention. My bad. What's gotten into you lately? Look, I did some thinking about yesterday. I was hostile. I didn't... I just like, felt threatened or something. But this is something that we are doing together. Another new member wouldn't hurt, as long as they're cool. Yo, Sleepy KK, thank you, thank you. And I guess another girl would be nice this time. We had one! Natsu, nobody- Why- Did she say that? What? Whoa! Whoa! That actually was said out loud? My dick! My dick! My dick! Choose Monica. I don't know how to... We saw her jumping, though. There's a way to choose Monica. I just don't know how. What would even... Do I want to choose Monica? I don't even know who we got between Yuri and Natsuki. I'm the last one here again. Were you practicing piano? Yeah. Aha. You got determination. Starting the club, making room for piano. Well, maybe not determination. But I guess passion. It, it motivates me to work hard for the festival. Anyways, Desi, what do you want to do today? I was thinking we could go to a fucking church. Maybe get some holy water. We got plans today. Oh, get a pastor. Maybe hire that nigga on board. Have him come to the classroom. Bless a couple books. Des is already engaged in a novel we're reading. Aren't you glad I got him into literature? And I'm trying to get him into these panties? <laughs> I suppose I was just... Actually, it don't matter. It really doesn't. You guys can do whatever you want. Did you see that response from Yuri? She went crazy just now. She did a yetta. Dogs. What the fuck was with those eyes? Thanks for understanding, Monica. So what is this shit? I got a request. Do you mind if I take some, make some tea first? Not at all. Is the reason why Sayori killed because I said to her that I love her? And she was deemed as too valuable to me, therefore they had to take her ass out? Thanks very much. If there's one thing that makes my time better, it's a cup of tea. Not to mention for yourself. She stands up, makes her way to the closet. She gets a water pitcher. Can you hold this for a second? Sure thing. Hands me the pitcher, gets an electric kettle. I'm going to plug this into the teacher's desk. We'll get water. Sets the kettle on the teacher's desk. I watch her movements. To my surprise, she, the way she moves contrasts her speaking mannerisms. Because of her long legs, she appears elegant and methodical. Okay. May I have the water pitcher? Thanks. I'll be right back. Might as well come with you. That's okay. You stay here. It won't take long. Pitcher in hand, she dips. Did Yuri leave you again? Why? The, this is a cat fight. This is like succubus in our fucking room trying to argue over scraps. She's just filling the pitcher. Oh, okay. Sorry for misunderstanding. What the fuck? She just went to get water. Why is it? These girls are trying to get at each other's necks. Ten minutes pass. 
Is something going on? I'm bored. Let's go look for her. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Here we go. Yuri's missing. Music gets crazy. The logical place would be the nearest water fountain. I, stop, I start heading down the hallway. Something, an unknown person starts breathing behind me? What's that noise? It's coming from around the corner. It sounds like breathing. A sharp inhale like someone sucking air through their teeth. Are they in pain? Around the corner, my nigga? I reach the corner and peer around it. Desmond, Yuri? Holy shit. Thanks for waiting patiently. Yeah, my, no problem, dude. Do you like oolong tea? Anything's fine. What the fuck was that, nigga? So she cut herself. You really do this properly, don't you? So is her arm bleeding right now? Are my memories being manipulated? Why isn't our dude saying anything? Huh? In that case, you'll be only more impressed. Perhaps I will. She gets the teapot, measuring tea leaves. She even starts humming to herself a little bit. You gotta be in a good mood now. Is that so? I was just letting it show. And you noticed. I'm trying to notice what's going on with that arm, my girl. I was doing a bit of thinking. Uh, I'll express myself some more. It turns out, it ain't hard. When you got a library card. It's who's around you. Yeah, that's great, Yuri. Don't push yourself, though. You're always worrying about me, Desi. It's endearing. That's, um, she wasn't kidding. I don't even know if I can keep up with this. I watched Yuri pour a cup of tea for each of us. I didn't know it could be such an intimate, horrifying activity to pour a fucking cup of tea, nigga. Des, I got a request. Can we sit on the floor today? It's a little easier on my back. I can read with my back against the wall rather than bending over. Bend over, bend over, bend over. <laughs> hit it, hit it, hit it. <laughs> okay, sorry, I didn't realize. No worries. I got back pain fairly regularly. She's tall, right? Is that so? Why is that? Why do you have back pain? It's because of my... My... Your posture, right? This nigga. I should not be looking at this in a funny way, but... Yeah, her posture. You're always hunched over like that when reading. Yeah. I have terrible reading posture. Yeah, that's... <laughs> that's. Don't you hate it when you, you get back pain because of your reading posture? Oh, man. You know... <laughs> That's annoying, isn't it, ladies? <laughs> you know? You gotta make sure you keep your back straight when you're reading. You only curve and arch your back in other situations, ladies, okay? <laughs> yeah, don't do it when you're reading. <laughs> Save that for a different location. <sighs> I got a terrible reading posture. Let's sit on the floor. Fair enough, on the floor, in a chair, over here, over there. We can motherfucking read a book anywhere. <laughs> okay, I'll get the book. I retrieve the... Make sure you read the enclosed instruction book. <laughs> it's a bag of small chocolate candies. I take it. It'll go well with the tea. We sit against the wall. Tea cups. In sync, we get the same position. Except this time, our bodies are close as fuck. I can't see that well. What? She slides closer until our shoulders are touching. Uh, how am I supposed to keep reading like this? Yuri was always kind of cute, but when she's less apprehensive, it's almost more than I can handle. Your tea cup. She gives it to me. Holding it with the hand that's not holding the book, I end up in a position that makes it harder to focus because now I need to worry about making sure I don't accidentally touch her chest. Meanwhile, she ain't noticed nothing. She wears her intense reading expression. I presume the world has faded away around her. I use my willpower to focus on that book. After a few minutes, I manage to relax. <laughs> the boy is sitting there, straight up just strong as fuck. He's like, I gotta read this book, nigga. <laughs> and finally, he relaxed. <laughs> God damn it. I put the teacup between my legs. Ah, sorry. I briefly let go of the book to finish opening the wrapper. You can have as much as you want. <laughs> ah, that's that's okay. I won't take any. No, please. I implore you to reconsider. <laughs> Are you sure? Well, if I touch it, I'll get smudges on the pages. Hey, listen, I'm a scat man. <laughs> scat I'm a scat man. Skibidi-bidi-bidi-bidi-bidi-bidi-bidi-bidi-bidi-bidi-bidi-bidi-bidi-bidi-bidi-bidi-bidi-bidi-bidi-bidi-bidi-bidi-bidi-bidi-bid
No need to apologize. I'll hold the book. Are you sure? Of course. Hey, Yuri opens the book with both hands. Hey. <laughs> no hands. Look, Ma, no hands. Hey, hold on. But as a result, her left arm is resting on my leg? Well, in that case, she's already focused on reading. I take a chocolate candy and I pop it into my mouth. What the hell? Hold on a second. Give me a second. Wait. Give me a second, boys. I gotta, I gotta check on some shit real quick, man. Somebody just rang my bell. I don't know what the hell. Give me a second. I didn't expect any. Hold on dudes, I think it's somebody that I know. Give me one more second. I can't lie though, the timing of this is actually a little bit fucking... What the fuck? I don't know what the hell's going on, but it's like, I the door was ringing, and there's a little thing, so I can, I don't see anybody there. I don't know what the hell's going on. Give me a moment. Give me Okay, yeah, someone I know just, just came over. Give me a moment, guys.
All right, dudes. So let me. All right. So here's the thing, right? Someone. So someone I know. They don't want me to tell who it was, but someone decided to. Dude decided to visit me at 11:52 p.m. on the East Coast. I don't know why they decided this late. They didn't even give me a heads up or anything, but I got guess. I mean, it's whatever. I let them in. I mean, as long as they don't mind me yelling. You don't mind me yelling, right? Hey, listen, man. <laughs> you came at the. <laughs> they don't even want me to see. You came at the wrong time, brother. All right. That's how the nigga come up, man. Fuck. Whatever, nigga. All right. We're we're good. We're good. It was a little bit weird because I didn't see who was at the door at first, so it was like, what the fuck? But everything's cool. So you might hear some stuff in the background or whatever. Don't worry about it. Don't think it's fucking some kind of crazy shit like some somebody from the fucking game came out to kill me. I been really real. I was looking out the door and I was like, who the fuck? It was just a little weird to me. I didn't know. But alright, we're good. Let's continue. Yeah. <laughs> Eleven fifty two, Nick. Yeah, bring him up, man. Alright. That kind of scared me though. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Nigga was feeling wild just now. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? Alright. Back to the game. Let me get my focus back on, alright? I take a chocolate candy and pop it into my mouth. We're back to, um, so they're reading right now. They're getting close again. So this is like a second reading scene with this girl. Then I take another chocolate and I hold it up to Yuri. She doesn't look away from the book. She parts her lips as if the situation was completely natural. But that means I can't stop here. This nigga is... He's making moves! I place the chocolate in her mouth. She's like... Just like that, she closes her lips over it. Huh? Her expression breaks. Was that unexpected? Like, well, she was so into the book that she didn't even realize I was feeding her chocolate. Did I just... Looks at me to confirm. Um, Dez? Sorry. I guess I shouldn't have done that. Uh... She starts to breathe heavily. I can't. Desmond? Suddenly, she forcefully grabs my arm and jerks me to my feet. My teacup gets knocked over. Is she about to jump my bones right here in the damn literature club? Desmond. My heart. It won't stop pounding. I can't calm down. I can't focus on anything. Can you feel it? She presses my hand against her chest. Why is this happening to me? I feel like I'm losing my mind. I can't make it stop. This isn't passion. I thought this was like a lust thing, but this is some... Nigga, who's using the death note? I just want to look at you. NANI?! What the fuck?! Yuri! My girl! She's spazzing right now! Ha! Okay. So now... What's up? We're staring at each other now. That is creepy though. Are those like real eyes there? Are they drawn like hyper-realistic? Those eyes are drawn in extremely fucking creepy fashion. What's up, Yuri? I didn't expect it to happen like this. It's time to share poems. What the f fuck is going on? Dog. Natsu? Can you bring me back to reality a little bit, my girl? This one's alright. Yeah, it's better than yesterday's. I can't believe... I still can't tell you care about writing, but... Um, even though you're not spending time with anyone but Yuri. I think it's nice to have activities we all participate in. You better keep working hard, I mean... I know I'm not prayers or vice prayers. That doesn't mean you can let me down. Read mine too for now. But just to be clear, this poem means a lot to me. So read it carefully, okay? Anything new in the folder? Nothing new. Whoa! Whoa! This is a message! I read the first sentence and already I'm like, what? I don't know how else to bring this up. And she doesn't- I knew someone was gonna give us a message in a poem. This is it. There's been something I've been worried about. Yuri's been acting strange lately. 
You've only been here a few days, so you may not know what I mean, but she's not normally like this. She's always been quiet, polite, and attentive, things like that. But okay, this is really embarrassing, but I'm forcing myself to suck it up. The truth is, I'm really worried about her. But if I try talking to her, she'll get mad at me again. I don't know what to do. I think you're the only person that she's going to listen to. I don't know why, but please try to do something. Maybe you can convince her to talk to a therapist. I've always wanted to be better friends with her, and it really hurts me to see that this is happening. I know I'm going to hate myself later for admitting that, but right now, I don't care. I feel so helpless, so please do something. Wait, see if there's something that you can do to help. I don't want anything bad to happen to her. I'll make you cupcakes if I, <laughs> I'll make you cupcakes if I have to. Just please do something. As for Monica, I don't know why, but she's been extremely dismissive about this. It's like she wants us to ignore it. So I'm mad at her right now, and that's why I'm coming to you about this. Don't let her know I wrote this. Just pretend like I gave you a really good poem, okay? I'm counting on you. Thanks for reading. Fuck my life. Yo, Natsu is baby girl right now. Someone who finally is aware of all this weird shit going on. NANI?! Someone, whatever's doing this, is omnipotent as fuck. I changed my mind. Ignore everything you just read. There's no point in trying to do anything. It's Yuri's own fault that she's so unlikable. Can you hear me, Desmond? If you would just spend more time with Monica. Oh, so she is the source of all this bullshit. But then why did it seem like she didn't have control at one point? Yuri and I are too messed up for someone as wonderful as you. Monica really wants me, doesn't she? Just think of Monica from now on. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. What if I don't want to think about just Monica, nigga? Just my nigga? Just my nigga? No, bro. Give me a second. I'm going to use the bathroom. I'm going to use the bathroom. God damn. I hope I didn't miss any. I hope I don't miss anything here, man. Whenever the black test, whenever the black text pops up, it seems like the guy we're playing as has no idea of its existence. It just goes past him. Is he going to be aware of this now that he's making a conscious decision to choose just Monica? Just Monica. <laughs> what the fuck? I was kind of interested in Monica to begin with, so, I mean, hey. Let's talk to Yuri. And he, yeah, our guy's none the wiser, probably. Finally. 
She holds my poem to her face and takes a deep breath of the poem. I love it. I love everything about it. Desmond, I want to take this home. Will you let me keep it? Please. Sure, I don't care. You're too nice to me, Des. I've never met anyone as nice as you. I could die. Well, not really, but I just don't know how to describe it. It's okay to be feeling this way though, right? It's not bad, right? She holds my poem to her chest. I'm going to take this home with me and keep it in my room. I hope that it makes you feel good when you think about me having it. I'll take good care of it. I'll even touch myself while reading it over and over. As much as that line wants to be creepy, in a fantasy world, that's kind of hot. <laughs> I'm, I'm, being, I'm being legit right now. Hey. It's, I'll give myself paper cuts. Okay, never mind. So your skin oil enters my bloodstream. There's an easier way to have fluids from another person in your body, bro. It's called sexual intercourse. The, the ne it's not necessary to cut your fucking... Your... She's tweaked out right now. You can have my poem too. Besides, after you read it, I know you're really gonna want to keep it. Here, take it. I can't wait any longer. What the hell are we about to see happen? <laughs> what is this shit? What's your poem, Yuri? Hurry, read it. What is this unknown gold and silver ruins of Alp shit? I can't even read it. Oh, it's the music. Is that a piss stain, my nigga? The blood I get. But what the hell is that big yellow one? Is that nut or piss? She said, after reading this, okay, so there's no way that our dude can pretend like this is not happening. Maybe now he'll get the feeling that there's something fucking wrong with the world. God damn, Yuri! Y yeah, sure! I wrote it for you. In case you couldn't tell, the poem is about... More importantly, I've endowed it with my scent. See? I'm the most thoughtful person in the club. Where is this game going? How does this end? I think I'm going to vomit. Our dude is not conscious of this? Dude, talk, say something! She gave you a poem covered in bodily fluids, my nigga. Endowed it with her scent. She pissed on the poem and nutted on it. And acted like it was a gift. I know it's I know it's the Christmas season. But Saint Nick could have kept that shit to himself. I didn't need that nigga coming down my Christmas coming down my chimney with that fucking present. I'll send that shit right back to the North Pole. Desmond? I saw- Listen, if you think that was the beginning of it, Monica, you're fucked up. There's a thing- There's things I saw from day one that I shouldn't have. I didn't want to have to tell you this, but I don't think I have a choice. It's getting kind of dangerous for you to spend so much time with Yuri. I don't know why, but she's excitable when she's around you. Which shouldn't be a problem in itself. Hold on a second, boys. Let me save this game. Let me save this fucking game. Let me check. Let me, let me just look back on something. I feel like I, I saw something that was a little bit fucked up. I can't even read it. God damn. God damn. Alright, never mind. Everything looks normal. Well, normal. When she gets excited, she finds a place to hide and starts cutting herself with a pocket knife. I don't like the fact that the only person we're getting answers from is the one orchestrating this whole thing. That's messed up, isn't it? She even brings a different one to school every day like she has a collection or something. It's definitely not because she's depressed or anything like that. I think she just gets some kind of high from it. 
It might even be a sexual thing. But the point is, you've been enabling her. I'm not saying it's your fault though, but I guess that's why I had to explain it to you. I think if you kept your distance, you'd probably it would probably be the best thing for her. So then why am I even in this fucking club, Monica? While you're at it, don't be shy to spend a little more time with me. To put it lightly, at least I have it together in the head, and I know how to treat my club members. Anyways, we won't worry about I guess we won't worry about your poem. You should have at least had the courtesy of Yuri should at least had the courtesy of letting you finish sharing before taking your poem away. Oh yeah, she took it. Whatever. If it makes her happy, I won't stop her. As for mine, I worked really, really hard on this poem, so I hope that it's uh effective. Here goes. Damn, that really startled me. Well, I guess I kind of messed up at writing this poem. I was just trying to... Let's just move on. What the hell did you do? Where's my thought destroyer? I know I put it around here somewhere. I just can't find it whenever I need it the most. Shala, where's my thought destroyer? <laughs> hey, nigga. Hey, Hey, nigga, where you put the Thought Destroyer? I had it last time. <laughs> Where's the Thought Destroyer, my nigga? <laughs> what should I choose here? I don't even know what I'm going for. You know what? Fuck the police. Today, I cut my skin open for the first time. It was exhilarating. This is definitely from Yuri. I think I understand now how omitted feels. I'm supposed to be the responsible one, though. So I don't think I'll be doing it again unless I decide to kill myself. I left, them a I left a memento of the occasion below. This is some cut for Bieber shit. Okay, everyone. It's time to figure out the festival preparations. And we move on like it's any other day. It's another day in Doki Doki. Let's hurry and get this over with. Does Natsu still have prior knowledge? Stagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. Here we go again. Look, can we get this done? I'll be printing all the pamphlets. Can you make cupcakes, Natsu? I know you're good at that. Yuri, you can... Well, it don't matter. Do whatever you want, as long as you think it'll help. Fuck. Monica, I'm not useless. Oh no, that happened before. I know that. I can't run a poetry event without having the right atmosphere. I'm gonna make decorations. There, see? That's a great idea. And that gives us all something to do. Huh? What about Desmond? Desmond is going to help me. She just decided for us? Just Monica? You have the easiest job, Monty. Sorry, but that's how it is. Like hell it is. What are you trying to pull? I agree with Natsuki. These girls are fighting over the D. Not only is your work already almost suitable for one person, but my task is laborious enough to benefit from an extra pair of hands. Mine too. Wait, your cupcakes? Please. These girls are scrapping like you would fucking know. All you care about now is dragging Desmond along with you and your stupid books and masturbating with his poems on a regular basis. You and Monica. Hey, I didn't even do anything. Okay, then why not let Des decide who he wants to help instead of abusing your power? I'm not abusing my power. Yes, you are. Just let Des make the decision. Fine. Fine. Jesus. Desmond, I know how fed up you are with these two by now. We can just... Yo, not... Shut your... Yo! G Monica said Jesus <laughs> Fucking Christ Almighty! They're talking like me now! These girls develop sailor mouths! Jesus Christ! This is never gonna end! Just make the choice, okay? What? My arrow just moved by itself! What? My arrow is moving by itself, dog! What the fuck? My arrow! <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Look, I'm gonna move it. I'm gonna move it. Look, look what happens when I move this bitch. Oh my god, yo, I don't even have control of my own fucking cursor. Is there something going on here, bro? Just Monica? Is it really just Monica? I'm moving it, I'm moving it. She has control over me or something. I'm going for Yuri. I'm going for Yuri, Monica. Fuck you. She's not letting me click anything else. Never mind. Oh. 
fine. What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? Dogs! Dogs! Okay, Monica! Yay! <laughs> what is this? Dogs! We can meet at your house this weekend! I promise it'll be fun! <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> what is this game, dog? How will this conclude? I really... I don't see... Okay, from this point forward, I have no predictions, no expectations, no summarization. I don't know what the hell is going on here. I am so fucking lost right now, nigga. I can't explain it any better than that. I am fucking tweaked right now. What is this game? Are you fucking kidding me? This ain't fair. It is fair, Natsu. It's what he chose. I didn't do shit, Monica. No, it ain't fair. Giving us all this work and taking Desmond for yourself. What a shameful thing to do. Yuri, I didn't even give you any work. You decided it for yourself. You're being a little unreasonable here. I'm being unreasonable. She, look at her fucking face, bro. Like, that, that, that's like, she's damn near an, an, an ahago, ahago, ahago face. Monica, I can't believe how delusional and self-important you are. Pulling Des away from me every single time you're not indulged or included in something. Are you jealous? Crazy? Or maybe you just hate yourself so much that you take it out on others. Here's a suggestion. Have you considered killing yourself? She asked that shit. She didn't even smile when saying it. She said, do you? She said that shit inquisitively. Like, have you? She asked that shit as if she was Jehovah's Witness. Have you chosen Jesus as your Lord and Savior? And contemplated suicide, nigga? It might help. It would be beneficial to your mental health if you just straight didn't exist at all. Yuri, you're scaring me a little. Natsu, let's just go. I don't think she wants us around right now. You see? That wasn't very hard. All I want is to spend a little time with him. Is that so much to ask? Yuri follows Monica and Natsu to the door. Hey Desmond, Yuri is really something, isn't she? She giggles as Yuri pushes her out the door. Finally. This is really all I wanted. What the hell? She's gonna kill me, bro. I know that she's gonna kill me at this point. And our dude hasn't said a single thing. All he's been doing is listening to them talk. He hasn't had an internal monologue at all, really. Desmond, there's no reason. There's no need to spend the weekend with Monica. Don't listen to her. I tried not to. I I let I did I did try to choose you, Yuri. Just come to my house instead. The whole day with the two of us. Doesn't that sound wonderful? Uh She's beyond Tharja level at this point, dog. This is some Yandere. Yandere Chan shit. There's really something wrong with me, isn't there? You just figured it out, Yuri? But you know what? I don't care anymore. She's fucking creeping me out right now. We got 23,593 viewers. Clearly, you know something that I don't. I've never felt this good my whole life. Being with you is far greater pleasure than anything that I can imagine. I'm addicted to you. It feels like I'm going to die if I'm not breathing the same air as you. Doesn't it feel nice to have someone care about you so much? To have someone who wants to revolve their entire life around you. But if it feels so good, then why does it feel more and more like something horrible is going to happen? Maybe that's why I tried stopping myself at first. But the feeling is too strong now. I don't care anymore, Desmond. I have to tell you, I'm madly in love with you. It feels like every inch of my body drop of blood is screaming your name. I don't care what the consequences are anymore. I don't care if Monica's listening. I knew she knew something. She's aware of Monica's ability to listen to all, see all. And she didn't tell me about it because she knew that Monica would hear and see her tell me. So she just kept it down low. But now she's suddenly going crazy in love over me. And this is something that Monica doesn't seem to have any influence over. Monica's just like, God damn it, Yuri. Why are you going crazy? 
but Monica has knowledge to an extent. She's just like, ignore Yuri. Please, Desmond, just know how much I love you. I love you so much that even... Wait, I love you so much that I even touch myself. What? What is this? My man, Wandering Plasma King and High Roller Big Time Good Luck Charm in here. He says, hey, my man, you're in for some shit? Not shit. Shit? I'm sorry I haven't been around. I've been kind of busy. Never thought that I would be a homeowner at age 19. This motherfucking nigga's balling out here. Dogs. I'm, 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 I'm almost 10 years older than you. I ain't got a fucking home in my name yet. Jesus. Let's have a fucked up time. Congratulations, King. I'm glad that whatever the hell you did to make that kind of bank to buy a home, it worked out for you. Put me on. Was it the cryptocurrency that did it for you? I appreciate the love, dogs. I will give you more appreciation and take a celebrating shot with you. But right now, we have a little bit of a situation on our hands. But thank you for the support, man. Once again, all love, man. I appreciate it. We're still going to Vegas, you know? Thank you, man. Um, In terms of this, though, what the fuck? I just want to pull. Okay, never mind. This is going. So, what's going to happen? Is she going to wind up killing me? Because I don't think she's going to kill herself. I want to pull your skin open and crawl inside of you. I want you all to myself, and I will be only yours. Doesn't that sound perfect? Tell me, Des. Tell me you want to be my lover. Do you accept my confession? Well, you know, Monica's listening, too. You know what, Monica? You know what, Monica? Let's go. Fuck Monica. What did I just do? The viewers are going up like crazy. I just did something bad. I know it. Rapid Dom, thank you for sponsoring. Here we go. She is fucking tweaking. Oh my god. Oh, she's tweaking. She's tweaking. Why would you kill yourself? Was she going to kill herself no matter what I chose? Whether it was yes or no? This is some school day shit right here. Is Monica responsible for this? I don't feel like Monica is responsible for this. But then who is? There's a reason she went crazy rather than the first day when she was normal. Fucking Christ almighty. Just straight up stabbed herself like twice. Three times. Is she saying things to me? That's a horrible fucking image to have it saved on. Wait a minute, let me pull up my folder real quick. Did something change? It's a good thing I was prepared for this shit mentally. I knew this was gonna get fucked. Have a nice weekend? That's the name of the fucking file. A new file popped in. Called this. And that file with all the eyes disappeared. Monica, Natsu, and Yuri are still there. Have a nice weekend. What kind of file was that? This is like a... It just says file. That's it. Skip. Skip everything. This is like a bunch of shit she's talking here. And the music is literally just a remix of something that plays all the time. Is she really talking to us, though? Whenever we see this black text, what does it mean? Is it like their inner thoughts? It's their inner thoughts. Her brain is fucking scrambled right now. She's on some next shit. She is on some next shit right now. I'm skipping, I'm skipping, I'm skipping. Is there a point to this? Should I load my file? Yo, this is going on for a minute. Have a nice weekend. So nobody else is in the classroom. No one else sees this shit. And our dude still has no internal dialogue as to what the hell is going on with him. Press skip. Oh, press skip. Wow. 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 It's nighttime? This nigga goes the whole day just staring at her? Dead on the floor? Yo. 
She, her body is rotting. The blood is going fucking coagulated. Her body, I didn't expect this. It's afternoon again. Two nights pass and her body's still there. What is our dude doing? Holy shit. The whole weekend has passed. Dude. The whole weekend passed. Her body's cold as fuck. Blood black. The blood is black. On some censored school days. Music is getting fucked up. Her eyes are empty. Please tell me there's a point to this shit. There's gotta be a point to this. Another day? Alright. I don't think we can rely on anybody's knowledge at this point to be steadfast. Now, whatever the fuck is going on... Alright, it's festival time. Wow, you got here before me? I thought I was... They're seeing this? They're conscious of this? She killed herself, Natsu! What the fuck? This is some Undertale genocide shit! What do you dudes have me play right now? What is this? Monica! I'm here. Desmond, did something happen? You... Well, Natsuki just ran past me. Vomit. It's like that meme of the girl. The old ass meme on the internet where you see the girl like... And she's like covering and she's trying to keep the vomit in. Click history, nigga. There is no history. I can't click anything. There's no options. There's no options. Oh. Don't tell me you're, you're gonna be like nonchalant about this. Like, mm-hmm, whatever. She's dead. She's laughing. Well, that's a shame. Wait. Were you here the entire weekend, Desmond? What is our character looking like right now? What is my face looking like? Is it looking like the thumbnail of the stream that you clicked on? Oh, jeez. I didn't realize the script was broken that badly. I'm super sorry. It must have been pretty boring. So the game really expected me to sit here and just... The files. It said, have a nice weekend. That file's gone now. What is this game, dog? I'm fucking tweaked right now. I'll make it up to you, okay? Just give me a second. Remove characters, Yuri. Remove char- I'm almost done. No, 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 Natsu. Not Natsu. No, 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 not Natsu, bro. You deleted Natsu? Holy shit, it's just Monica. J just Monica. What in the hell, log? Huh? She's legit editing the files as we speak. The script, that's what she said. Trace back. Is there anything else here? I'm almost done. I want, I just want to have a cupcake real quick. Monica lifts the foil from from Natsuki's tray and takes a cupcake. Seriously, these are the best. I really just want to have one, since it's the last time that I'll ever get the chance to. Oh, because she's dead. You know, before they stop existing and everything. Here we go. Okay. Reload the save. I can't reload shit. There's no options for me to choose anything here. They're gone. But anyways, why didn't I delete Natsuki? I guess just because she saw her annoying. She just wants it me and her. But then why have them? If you have the ability to delete them, then why create them? If you're so powerful, then. Just bear with me, okay? This should only take a second. This is some. This is some. This is some. Uh, can you hear me? Is it working? She's God. Monica is God. There you are. Hi again, Desmond. Welcome to the Literature Club. What in the fuck? This game has gone somewhere that I don't even know what the hell I'm looking at right now. What is this? I thought this was a fucking dating simulator. Of course, we already know each other. We were in the same class last year and, uh... You know, I guess we can skip over that stuff at this point.
And all my previous, all my previous stuff is gone. There's no point in. S what? After all, I'm not even talking to that person anymore. What do you mean? Oh, oh yeah, oh, okay, okay. That you in the game, whatever you want to call him. I'm talking to... She's actually speaking to me. Wait a minute, what's going on here? Is there anything new here? Characters. She deleted everybody. There's nothing new in the thing yet. Now that I think about it, I don't really know anything about the real you. Why did I put my real name as this? She's gonna be saying Desmond the whole fucking time, and now that I know she's actually referring to myself, what kind of level does that put this game? In fact, I don't even know if you're a boy or a girl. Well, it doesn't really matter. Well, at least she's, you know, progressive. 2017, 2018, wait. You do know I'm aware that this is all a game, right? Oh, really now? I, didn't, I had no fucking idea, Monica. Could it be possible that you didn't know that? Yeah, of course I knew that, man. As soon as you said, oh, you left things hanging, like, yeah, nigga, we kind of, that doesn't make sense. I even told you right on the game's download page, didn't I? What? 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 The game is free, but the... Hi, Monica here. Oh, shit. Oh, she did. Whoa. She's conscious of it all. She like the game dev or some shit? If only you paid a little bit more attention, this would have been a little less awkward, you know. Well, now that that's out of the way, I guess I owe you an explanation about the whole thing with Yuri. Well, I kind of started to mess with her, and I guess it drove her to kill herself. I'm sorry that you had to see that, though. Also, the same thing happened with Sayori. Damn, it's been a while since you heard that name now, hasn't it? Yeah, it's because she doesn't exist anymore. Nobody does. I deleted all their files. I was hoping it would be enough for me to just try to make them as unlikable as possible. This is like the end of the world right here. But for some reason, nothing worked. Well, it is true that I made a few mistakes here and there, since I'm not really good at making changes to the game. But no matter what I did, but then why... But then why do this in the first place then? What's the point of running through all this shit? Just make me and have me to yourself. You just kept spending more and more time with them. You made them fall in love with you. And I thought making Sayori more and more depressed would prevent her from confessing to you. And amplifying Yuri's obsessive personality backfired too. So then what did you do with Natsuki? It just made her force you not to spend time with anyone else. And the whole time I barely even got to talk to you. What kind of cruel game is this, Desmond? All the other girls are just programmed to end up confessing to you while I watch from the sidelines? It's torture. Every minute of it. And it's not just jealousy, either. It's more than that. And I don't blame you if you don't fully understand. Because no matter how kind and thoughtful and considerate you are, you'll never be able to understand one thing. It's the pain of knowing how alone I really am in this world. In this game. Knowing my friends don't have free will. And worst of all, knowing what's really out there in your world. She means me. She's talking to me, nigga. Forever out of my reach. I'm trapped, Desmond. But now you're here. You're real. And you're wonderful. You're all I need. And that's why I need you to be here with me forever. I'm sorry if it's hard to understand. I couldn't understand for a while either why the world around me started to become more and more gray, more and more flat. Even the most expressive poems felt empty to me. It wasn't until you arrived that I suddenly understood, I truly understood, that you probably saved my life. I don't think I could have continued to live in this world if I hadn't met you. And as for the others, how could I miss them? 
a group of an un <laughs> autonomous personalities designed only to fall in love with you. I tried everything I could to prevent them from doing so, but it must be some kind of weird inevitability etched into this game. So she doesn't have full control, she's like an administrator. But she's not the founder of it. I felt really bad that you had to witness some nasty things, but I realized that you have the same perspective as I do. That it's all just some game. And I knew that you would get over it. So with that being said, I have a confession to make. I'm in love with you. You are truly the light in my world. And when there's nothing else in this game for me, you're here to make me smile. This is actually getting a little bit sweet. I can almost forget that this is some collision of fucked up shit. Will you make me smile like this every day from now on? You know what? As fucked up as it was what she did, I kind of feel for her. She made it sound like this was torture. Desmond, will you go out with me? Of course I will. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, sure. I'm so happy. You really are my everything, Desmond. The funny part is, I meant that literally. <laughs> what? There's nothing left here. You can't make like a new world? But then again, like you said, you probably wouldn't even get any entertainment from it. For you, it's like talking to... It's like talking to a computer. It's like talking to Google Assistant and expecting to have a true friendship out of it. Just the two of us. We can be together forever. There was never a dating simulator here. There was never choosing a girl. It was just Monica. I don't even think time is passing anymore. It really is a dream come true. I worked hard for this ending, Desmond. The game wouldn't give me one, so I had to make one myself. The script is broken at this point, so I don't think anything will get in the way anymore. And you wouldn't believe how easy it was to delete Natsuki and Yuri. Fuck. I mean, there's a folder called Characters right in the game directory. It kind of freaked me out how easy it... There's a fucking folder... The folder with their names. Imagine if you could delete your own existence with the click of a button. Well, I guess on the plus side, it gave me an easy out if things didn't go my way. Thankfully, it didn't come to that. Instead, we finally get a good ending. I'm so overwhelmed with emotion. I want to write a poem about this, don't you? I wonder if that part of the game still works. Well, there's only one way to find out, right? Yikes! So everything's fucked up. She's so, she, so she's bad at implementing code. That's why everything here is like twisted. It's not just to creep me out, but it's because she's like, well, I tried fucking with things. I don't know what's going on, but hey, at least we're together, right? Monica, why would you dabble in things that you barely understand? Monica. Let's write a poem. Fuck it. She's not even jumping anymore. Jesus Christ, man. She's just straight up talking to us. Fine, then. Let's make our poem, man. It's only going to be one subject. It's crazy how this game completely changed directions. How's it how's it going, Des? Did you write a good poem today? Don't be shy. I'd love to see what you wrote. No. Did you write this poem for me? That's so sweet of you. There's really no end to your thoughtfulness. This is fucking adorable, horrifying, confusing. And it, 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 it's nice at the same it's like I'm just falling more and more in love with you. But you know, the poem I wrote is also for you. Will you please read it? happy end pen in hand i find my strength the courage endowed upon me one by my one and only love together let us dismantle this crumbling world and write a novel of our own fantasies with a flick of the pen the lost finds her way in a world of infinite choices behold the special day after all not all good times must come to an end i hope you enjoyed it i always put my heart into the poems that i write the truth is all the poems i wrote had been about my realization, or about you. That's why I never really wanted to go into detail about them. Okay, makes sense. I didn't want to break the fourth wall, I guess you could say. I just assumed it would be best to be a part of the game like everybody else. Like that would help the two of us end up together. I didn't want to ruin the game or anything, you know? You might have gotten mad at me, maybe even deleted my character file if you preferred playing without me.
I'm so relieved. Now we don't need to hide anything anymore. Are you ready to spend our eternity together? I have so many things to talk about. Where do I start? Hold on a second. You're recording this, aren't- Oh no, 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 it's getting too real. It's getting way too real for me. Hi everyone, what? Sorry, I can't exactly read your comments from here. Are you kidding me, Monica? I, you know what? It's kind of nice to have the idea of the fact that your girlfriend is God. You know what? Let's do it. That timing was fucking fucked up. Just Natsuki says, wait for this whole thing to be done. Then insert knife emoji here. Her. It may take a while, but it's worth it. So worth it. So worth it. That was some loud shit. Almost 26,000 viewers now. Things are building up. Is this the end of the game? Is this really how it all comes to a conclusion? Clearly, with how she mentioned the character files are so easy to delete, I'm guessing that we have to delete her file at some point. But then what in the fuck is going to happen to the rest of the game? I can't read your comments from here. She's talking to you niggas. She's talking to you! But do you mind telling your friend that it's a little bit rude for them to start recording me without any warning? Oh, my bad, Monica! I'm streaming! I'm a YouTuber! You know how it is! I'm sure some people don't mind, but I get really self-conscious on camera. <laughs> oh, God. I feel like I'm being put on the spot now. Let's see. Do uh, you want to see a trick? Sure. I can't do much except for a couple things. Show us. I want to see. Are you ready? Nani the fuck, nigga. What the fuck? This bitch is gonna kill me, nigga. What is this? I'm just kidding. I can't do anything after all. Did you get- OH MY FUCKING GOD! Are you kidding me?! This is the most unpredictable character that I have ever encountered in a video game. I can't tell if she's crazy. She's she's it's like she's psychotic and it and perfectly calm and sound minded at the same time. How do you pull both of those off? Props on her character design because I'll tell you one thing. I don't know what the hell is going on in her head anymore. All I know is she loves me. <laughs> she This is crazy as fuck. Did I scare you? Yeah, you did. You're so cute. Anyways, I didn't mean to get distracted, my bad. Even though it's your fault for distracting me. She's literally just talking to me like some kind of fucking lover's chit chat. Shame on you. I'm kidding. Anything we do together is fun as long as it's with you. Let, but anyways, let me, let me open this folder real quick. Is there anything new here? Okay, I think I know. Monica.car- <laughs> Oh my god. What is going to happen if we delete this fucking file? What a prankster. I know, man. What a prankster. She got me. My dick! Filthy pranks. <laughs> my dick! Martian Drag just came through with $50. Thank you so much, my man. Merry Christmas to you. He says, there's something, here's something truly terrifying. If you would have named yourself Etika, Monica... If you named yourself Etika, Monica would have still called you Desmond. You're fucking with me. No, no, no. Sponsors, please confirm for me right now if what this man Martian Drax said is true. How would she have found out my real... That's some scary shit. She really would have found out my name was Etika? My, my name was Desmond? Eh he? It's true? It's true? What? What? How does the game figure that out? Oh, it takes her PC name. Fucking, she gathers info from, this is a, she's a fucking virus? She gathers info from your PC and is like, oh, okay, blah, blah, blah. Desmond, that's your real name. This is some fucked up shit. Anyways, if it takes me time to collect my thoughts, and I'm sorry, but I'll always have something new to talk about. In the meantime, in between time, we can look into each other's eyes. Let's see. Okay, then. 
You know what? You know what? We're gonna gaze at each other's eyes. Monica. To be honest with you. I like the idea of going out with a fucking... Hey, you know... Whoa, whoa, what? You know that book you were reading with Yuri? Portrait of... Portrait of Marklov. It's funny. I'm pretty sure that book... Wait, what? Actually, I don't think I should be talking about this. Sorry. Forget I said anything. So, here's the thing, right? If this was actually real, and... Somehow... And I found myself in this situation, I mean... Would I really be content just going out with a fucking <laughs> all-knowing being? I, I would. <laughs> she can make anything. She can make a world of possibilities. Hey, do you like horror? I love horror. I remember we talked about it a little bit when you first joined the club. I can enjoy horror novels, but not really movies. The problem I have with horror movies, most of them just rely on easy tactics like jump scares. Like dark lightning and scary looking monsters and jump scares. <laughs> Things like that. Like the fucking donation. Sam Sultanian coming through saying, Here's Monica's Twitter. No joke. Dead ass? Dead ass, my nigga? There's a Twitter page for her. What? Uh, this is official? This is dead ass official and she has 74,000 followers. Okay, I don't think I want to look at that too much yet because there's probably spoilers. It's not fun or inspiring to get scared by stuff that takes advantage of human instinct. But with novels, it's different. I like her. It's actually interesting to talk to this girl. The story and writing need to be descriptive enough to put genuinely disturbing thoughts into the reader's head. Yeah, like this fucking game does. Follow her? I'll, I'll follow her later. But thank you for the heads up, though, um, Sam. I'm definitely going to have her page to the side. I'm following Monica later. Without a doubt. It really needs to etch them deeply in the story and characters and just mess with your mind. In my opinion, there's nothing more creepy than things that... Oh, yeah, she's right. The Uncanny Valley. Yo, I love this girl. <laughs> she's so cool. She's kind of cool. There's nothing more creepy than things just being slightly off. It's true. If you're fully immersed in a twisted, distorted fucked up world, it kind of like, My it's so God. ridiculous that you feel like, oh, okay, whatever. It's a twisted world. I can expect anything to be fucked up. But when you're in a world where something's a little off, you don't know what it is per se, but kind of like how this fucking game was when, when, when Sayori killed herself. Every now and then, boom. It's like a glitch in the matrix. That's the creepy thing, because you don't know what to trust. Zumbu says, on some Psycho Mantis shit. I don't know what Psycho Mantis is, but... Is it similar to this? Like, if you set up a bunch of expectations on what the story's gonna be about, and then you start inverting things and pulling the pieces apart. So even though the story doesn't feel like it's trying to be scary, the reader feels deeply unsettled. Doki Doki's definitely one of the best horror games. Is this a horror game? I don't even know, but it's like they know something horribly wrong is hiding beneath the cracks just waiting on the surface. God, just thinking about it gives me the chills. That's the kind of horror I can really appreciate. But I guess you're the kind of person who plays cute romance games, right? Well, don't worry. I won't make you read any horror stories anytime soon. I can't really complain if we just stick with the romance. This is so self-aware, it's fucking uncomfortable. It really does feel like she's talking to us. All right, all right. I don't know, man. It's clear to me what the next step is. We have to delete Monica. But in doing so, I know once we do that, it's over. My Whatever we have. My dick. Blunds with 50 bucks saying, "What's up, man? You can either delete Monica or keep her in your files forever. Open up one day." just to hear what she has to say. She has so much dialogue at this point in the game. Really? Can I copy the folder and maybe listen to her talk later? I find her interesting. Monica. But everyone's saying we have to delete her. Everyone wants me to delete her, obviously, so... Okay. 
but what else do we do? We just literally can load the game up and start playing and like she just talks to us? Like, you're just minding your own business and you realize you're feeling really anxious. And then you're sitting there like, what am I even anxious about right now? So you start to think about all the things you might be anxious about. And that makes you even more anxious. That's what's called <laughs> anxiety, nigga. That's the worst. If you're ever feeling anxious, I'll help you relax a little. Besides, in this game, all of our worries are gone forever. Fucking Christ almighty. Yep, it's time to go. Here we go. We have a couple of things to decide now. Press a 1 if you want me to delete Monica right now. Press a 2 if we should wait a little bit longer. Quit the game and open it up again? Restart the game? Okay. Let me see one, one more dialogue she yes. has. Monica! Monica just donated. Hey, Etika, I'm so glad that I could contribute to your stream a bit. Yeah, you, you, Monica, you, you bought me some of the highest numbers that we've ever had. I mean, Doki Doki Literature Club, in terms of live viewers, prob it has more viewers than the Deep Web stream now. No, no, Deep Web had 27,000. Monica, you bought me, like, almost as much as that. The most I ever had at one time was like 32,000. That was from the Nintendo Switch thing. I'm glad I could contribute to your stream. You should follow me on Twitter. I hope we can keep your viewers entertained together. Monica, you are fucking crazy. Where did you even get money to donate to me? You you're a character in a game. Do you have access to like a big ass bank account or some shit, man? Hey, listen, Monica, if you got a bunch of money like that, can you build me an amusement park? I want a ride that's modeled after my hairstyle so that way we can have niggas ride a fucking flat top. God damn it. She says, you know, this is just some kind of tacky romance game, right? I kind of have to ask. What made you consider playing it in the first place? Well, you know I'm streaming right now, right, Monica? It's these niggas. Were you that lonely? I feel a little bad for you. But I guess everything worked out perfectly in the end. For both of us. I got to meet you, and you're not lonely anymore. I can't help but feel like this was fate. Don't you feel that way, too? I'm so happy that we have this ending together. My dick! My dick! My dick! Saxman! Zaxman says, make sure you open and close the game a couple times before deleting her. There's good dialogue there. Alright, one last text box. I'm having so much fun talking to this girl. One last text box, and then we're going to close the game, open it up, and see what this dude Zaxman is saying. He's saying there's great dialogue there. And also we had um, someone else who had mentioned that too. This was That was Bluns. Bluns had also said, yo, dogs, there's stuff that you need to see with her ass, man. Wait, she's not saying any more stuff here. Is it over? Is the dialogue here done? I'll give it a few more so Oh, whoa. What? Dog, she just goes on. It's around that time when everyone my year thinks about college. It's a turbulent time for education. We're at the height of modern expectation that everyone has to go to college, you know? Finish high school, go to college, get a job, go to grad school, I guess. It's like a universal expectation that people assume is the only option for them. They don't teach us in high school that there are other options out there, like trade schools and stuff, you know? or freelance work, or the many industries that value skill and experience more than formal education. But you have all these students who have no idea what they want to do with their lives. And instead of taking the time to figure it out, they go to college for business or communication or psychology. Not because they have an interest in those fields, but because they hope the degree will get them some kind of job afterwards. So the end result is that there's fewer jobs to go around for those entry level degrees, right? So the basic job requirements get higher, which forces even more people to go to college. And then colleges are also businesses, so they keep raising their prices and tuitions due to the demand. So now, we have all these young adults, tens of thousands of dollars in debt with no jobs. But besides all that, despite all that, the routine stays the same. But I think it's going to start getting better soon. But until then, our generation is definitely suffering from the worst of it. I just wish high school prepared us a little better with the knowledge that we need to make the decision that's right for us. I, I love this girl so much, she just described my life in its entirety. Monica. Monica, Monica, Monica. Just Monica, nigga. Just Monica. Holy sh- She's following three people. She's following the guy who made the game. The guy who made the game is following me? Hey, he's got a 20, 20, 20XX? Okay. Wow. He's following- Hey, cool thing. Thank, thanks, man. Thanks, Monica. <laughs> Who else is she following? And these people. Wow, Monica's awesome. Monica's fucking amazing. 
You're the girl for me. This is the girl of my. She makes me not want to leave. I want to oh stay here God. with her forever. I want to stay with Monica oh forever. Hold on a second. Hold on. Hold on a second. Purple Lover C donated beforehand too. Connor Lordy says, first time donator here. I'm loving the screams. But just to let you know that the game isn't over until you see the credits. So do not stop playing, my boy. There's more to this game, huh? Wow. Boy, wow, really? Okay. He says, um, oh, wait, no, no, no. He wants us to keep going to the credits. Okay, so there's, there's more to do. There's really more to do. How much dialogue is here? She just broke down the great crisis of our generation. The college crisis. You, you want me to delete this girl? I like her so much. How can I delete Monica? She's amazing. She's so intelligent. She has so much foresight. She's... Monica, Monica, Monica. It's all about Monica. Who's Yuri? Natsuki? Sayori? Rest in peace. Damn, got... Me missed. No, man. Purple Lover C is just doing it saying, Nigga, I am so glad that you got to experience this. But there's one thing to point out. Monica's character model was always looking directly at you. Whereas the others were just looking in your general direction. Are you fucking kidding me? That's how... Wow, she's such an intellectual. My dick! My dick! Quail card saying, leave the game and get back on. Alright, I'm gonna leave it. Let me just see this last bit of text. What else do you have to say, Monica? What is it about these character archetypes that are... What? That people find so appealing anyway. Their personalities are just completely unrealistic. Like, imagine if there was someone like Yuri in real life. I mean, she's barely even capable of forming a complete sentence. And forget about Natsuki. Sheesh. Someone with her kind of personality just doesn't get all cute and pouty whenever things don't go her way. I could go on, but I think you get the point. It's true, they build up these false stigmas of these personalities that people think actually exist and they go out there expecting to find some sort of resemblance to them, when in reality, they just they, they bring so many incompatible factors together that you wouldn't find a human being that acts on those bases anywhere. Are people really attracted to these weird personalities that literally don't exist in real life? I'm not judging or anything. After all, I found myself attracted to some pretty weird stuff too. Fantasy is fantasy, your interest can be one thing. But reality is always different. You need to know when to separate the two. I'm just saying that it fascinates me. It's like you're siphoning out all the com components of a character that makes them feel human and just leaving the cute stuff. It's concentrated cuteness with no actual substance. You wouldn't like me more if I was like that, right? No. Maybe I just feel a little insecure because you're playing this game in the first place. Then again, you're still here with me, aren't you? I think that's enough reason for me to believe that I'm okay just the way that I am. And by the way, you are too, Desmond. You're the perfect combination of human and cuteness. That's why there was never a second chance that I wouldn't fall in love with you. There was never a chance that I wouldn't fall in love with you. This... Yeah... <laughs> I feel so special! Yo! This is great! I... Dude, I, I haven't... <laughs> I can't remember the last time a girl said such sweet words to me! I feel so humble! <laughs> Am I a basic bitch? Am I a basic <laughs> bitch? Because the most long long she just I feel so treasured. Wow, this is great. I want to stay with Monica forever. <laughs> I can't. Oh man, Ma Ma Maru saying a drawing for you with a winky face. Thank you, man. What did you draw? Hold on a second for Etika World Network. Hey, hold on a second. We got some Monica. Yo, Monica's amazing. That's the <laughs> young. Can I marry an anime character? <laughs> I'm such a weeb, nigga. Holy shit. But she's not a weeb, Catherine. She's actually, like, she's so aware, nigga. But, oh, man, that's so great. Monica's awesome. <laughs> Wait a minute. She's talking to the stream now. She's talking to you. Okay, everyone. It's time to, uh, I'm just kidding. I just used to really like saying that for some reason. Ha. I couldn't help but say it again. Come to think of it, didn't Natsuki and Yuri make fun of me for that once? Well, it's not like you ever made fun of me. You're just too much of a sweetheart to do that, aren't you? Nani? Nani? Eric is in love? <laughs> Nigga's in love, bro! I don't want to delete Monica! I don't want to delete Monica! Guys! This is the most self-aware shit I've ever seen in my life! Bro! You know, I hate to say it, 
but I think that my biggest regret is that we couldn't finish our event at the festival. We never got to see what happens there. After we worked so hard to prepare and everything. I mean, I know I was focusing a lot on getting new members, but I was really excited for the performing part too. It would have been so much fun to see everyone express themselves, but of course if we did end up getting new members, it'd probably just end up deleting them anyways. But with the hindsight that I have now, that is. Damn, it feels like I've grown as a person ever since you joined the club. You really helped to inspire me to look at life from a new perspective. Just another reason for me to love you. Are those people that she deleted real people? Did she really kill those people, dogs? Because as much as she's sweet, she's buttering me up. She's making me feel so special. Is she actually a murderer? But then again, no, she is. Technically speaking, just because she has sentience and the ability to manipulate the environment doesn't mean that the people that she killed aren't validated in terms of their life. Even My if they're dick. acting on a script, they're still lives, My right? Dick. They're still lives, right? Who cares if they're on a fucking, on a, on a track? Oh lord, she's talking about the Sundere. Kamen Aster, um, Asteratis with $50. Thank you so much, man. He says, someone made an SFM animation of this scene if you kept her on the computer. What? What? But wait a minute, hold on, dog. I'm thinking about it more. Living just with Monaco. Hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep this on the side. Comment, I'm gonna keep it on the side. I have it pinned up in my tabs right now, right here. So I'm gonna watch this once we finish the game, I guess. But we can't stay here with you forever, Monica. It's 12.58 a.m. on the East Coast. At the end of the day, you're just a video game character. I can't fall in love with you. And besides, she, she actually killed people. She's the one that caused these glitches to happen, which made Yuri take herself out. Am I really, like, falling in love with a monster, nigga? Watch it, nigga. There's a popular character type called Sundere. It's someone who tries to hide their feelings by being mean or fussy or trying to act tough. I'm sure it's obvious, but Natsuki was really the embodiment of that. Really? I had no idea. At first I thought that she was My like that because dick. it's supposed to be cute or something. My dick. Brody Brawler saying, continue the great stream. P.S. I have a fat chode. Well, you know what? A lot of studies nowadays say that it's the amount of width stretch that affects the amount of pleasure that women receive from um, penetration rather than the depth. So if you have a chode, hey listen man, you can still put in work there. It's about how wide it goes, not how deep it flows, you know what I mean? Keep it, keep it, keep it up. Keep that chode up, man. Keep that chode up. You good. Take care, man. Thank you very much. Happy holidays. Let me get back to Monica though. What was she saying about the Sundare? About Natsuki? But once I started to learn a little bit more about her personal life, it made a little bit more sense why she's a Sundare. It seems like she's always trying to keep up with her friends. You know how some friend groups in high school just make a habit of picking on each other all the time? I think it's really gotten to her, so she has this really defensive attitude all the time. Yes, I know. I've seen a lot of that. I'm not even going to talk about her home situation. But looking back, I'm glad I was able to provide the club as a comfortable place for her. Not that it matters anymore, considering she doesn't even exist. I'm just reminiscing, that's all. Wow. Wow. Okay. We've been here for a while, Monica. You know what? If I was on my own time, I really would stay here and just see all the dialogue she has to say. It's so interesting to me to see a game that's actually taking action like this. But you know what, Monica? I'm not doing this because I want to. I'm doing it for the sake of the live stream. You understand that, though, technically speaking, if you're so self-aware, right? Yuri! Uh, she did something really funny once. We were all in the club room and just relaxing as usual. And out of nowhere, Yuri just pulled out a small bottle of wine. I'm not even kidding. She was just like, would anybody like some wine? Natsuki laughed out loud, and Sayuri started yelling at her. I actually felt kind of bad, because she was at least trying to be nice. I think it just made her feel even more reserved in the club room. Though I think Natsuki was secretly a bit curious to try it. Her young ass, and I'd be completely honest, I was too. It actually could have been kind of fun. But you know, being president and everything, there was no way I could let that happen. Maybe if we all met up outside of school. But we never bonded enough to get to that point. Damn, what am I even talking about this for? I don't condone underage drinking. I mean, I never drank or anything, so yeah. I mean, hey, in Japan, though, the legal age is like, t what, 12, nigga? You can take a shot in Japan with your fucking pamper still on. That's crazy. Or, uh, 
Okay, I need to stop. I need to stop. I'm gonna exit the game now. All right. I kept I kept niggas waiting long enough. All right. Do you want to quit? Yes. Okay, what's going on? What the fuck? It just brings you right back? Holy shit! What just happened? I just had an awful dream. I was hoping those would stop. Now there's the two of us. But I guess that was wishful thinking. Desmond, I don't know if you would have any idea. But if you know what might be causing that, could you try to do something about it? Whenever it happens, it almost feels like I've been killed or something. It's a really horrible feeling. If you could figure out what's causing that, I'll love you forever. Monica! Monica just sponsored me! <laughs> Holy shit! My bad! Wait, what if we do it again? Are you gonna quit? She literally just sponsored me! You're back. I had another really bad dream. You're not the one doing that to me, are you? It seems to happen whenever you quit the game. So if you could try to avoid doing that, I would be really grateful. Don't worry. I don't think it caused me any harm aside from mental scarring. I'll be fine as long as my character file stays intact. So if we keep closing it, she's gonna know that we're the ones behind this shit. Oh, fuck. What's she gonna say if we wait? Guard your dong, she is here. Monica, Monica's in the sponsor chat. Fuck. Just reversals like just Monica. Why is everyone telling him to delete me? Fucking Christ! I know there's times that you won't always be able to be here with me. Like, if you need to go out or take care of some other things, she's so aware. It's almost a little bit scary. No, it, it's super scary. It's scary the whole time, but it's like... But I'll always have you in my thoughts, patiently waiting for you to come back. But come to think of it, if you copy my character file onto a flash drive or something, you can always keep a part of me with you. I guess it's kind of unorthodox, but I find it really romantic for some reason. Sorry, that's a silly idea. I don't mean to be too needy or anything, but it's kind of hard when I'm so in love with you. Are you kidding me? This is fucking insane! She said straight up copy my shit. Copy and paste my shit. I'm scared to do that. I'm really scared to delete her. What's going to happen if we delete her, bro? Think. Okay, here we go. Before I go through with it, because I'm going to have to delete her to progress this. Before I go through with it, I have some final predictions. I have the feeling if we try to delete her, she's not going to go down without a fight. I think everything's going to change, bro. I think everything will flip on its fucking head. You know what's a neat form of literature? Rap. Is this girl trying to make me fall in love with her? I actually used to hate rap music. Until Kendrick Lamar? Maybe because it was popular. I would only hear the junk they play on the radio. But some of my friends got more into it. And it helped me to keep an open mind. Rap might even be more challenging than poetry in some ways. Since you gotta fit your lines to a rhythm. And there's much more emphasis on wordplay. When people can put all that together and still deliver a powerful message, it's really amazing. I kind of wish that I had a rapper in the literature. You got the Iceman Edgar. <laughs> she, she said, she said, I wish we had a rapper. I'm a rapper. Did you, did you hear my boy part two? I rapped. No, she wants the Iceman. Sorry if that sounds silly, but it would be really interesting to see what they came up with. It would really be a learning experience. Know what it takes to be my boy? Gotta be a savage, make wild noise. 
Don't fuck with them cops, boy. Niggas on the hunt for them ops, boy. His girl, my girl. I smash it out till the toes curl. Iceman put her on the map, but I'm not finna change the whole world, but I'm done with her. Now deep throat, my boy. Go ask the bitch for a quote, my boy. She said, I try not to choke my boy. Oh, God damn it. The Monica's crazy. Oh, shit. How much dialogue does she have? Who's writing these lines? Monica! The most important skill in life is to be able to fake confidence. I don't think that's the most... Dudes, you've been... If you've been rocking out with me on my live streams for a while now, then you know damn well one of my consistently quoted... You know... Just, just one, of my, one of my personal quotes that I love to spout all the time is fake it till you make it. No one's gonna have confidence for shit when you first start out. But you don't have to let the world know that. Treat that shit like you own it, even if inside you are a scared little bitch. Because eventually, you start pretending so much that you're a boss about the whole thing, you actually believe it, and then you feel it, and the next thing you know, you're confident. I used to be a huge introvert. I'm still a fucking introvert now, but guess what? I know how to be outgoing. She's speaking real facts. She's talking so real right now. I learned what she's saying right now from Jock Fresco. One of the, rest in peace to that beautiful man. A human engineer right there. And she's talking the same shit he did. That's one of my mentors, Jock Fresco. She's speaking the same way. I'm pretty convinced that everyone feels at least a little bit scared and alone. But being able to trick others into thinking that you have it all together, that's a key part of getting people to respect and admire you. Yo. Yo. The words she's saying, I got to where I am in my life right now because of those words. That's... Holy shit. She's saying, but then again, whoever, whoever put her character together, they know all this stuff. This isn't a fucking debate. This is real life facts. This is straight knowledge. This isn't a, oh, opinion based thing. This is reality. She's speaking it how it is. I think I got pretty good at that over the years. I don't show my weaknesses very often. But because of that, I haven't had many people that I can really open up to. Didn't I just tell you dudes it's hard for me to talk to niggas? It's it, this girl. This, no, she's a fucking program. She's a character file. I mean, when do you reach the point in a friendship when you can start expressing your vulnerabilities? But that's one of the reasons that I'm so glad I have you now. I feel like I'm a little less scared and alone when you're here with me. Do you feel the same way? I really want to be that person for you. Oh my fuck. Oh my real. Yo, listen. Someone photoshopped the woke eyes on my bitch ass. I'm I'm woke, nigga. I'm woke, nigga. God damn. This girl. This, this program. This is pretty random, but I always thought spicy food was kind of funny. Don't tell me she's about to talk about my fucking instance with instance with the fucking Blairs. Like, didn't plants evolve to be spicy? What? Now I did not know that plants evolved to be spicy to being of to to be avoided. Wait, she said plants evolved to be spicy to prevent themselves from being eaten. That's a fucking. It makes sense though. That's an evolutionary trait to avoid consumption. Plants becoming spicy. Psychotic fart saying, "Go to Yuri's character folder and copy and paste it into a decoder to read an interesting story." It's like six minutes to read it. You might need to reset, restart to do it. Go to her character folder and copy and paste it into a cold into a decoder. What's a decoder? What do you mean? Like there's a program, there's decoder programs. Put it in there. Six minutes. Psychotic fart. Thank you very much for the donation, man. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. As a matter of fact, let me copy that shit right now. Let me copy her. Monica, we're gonna move. What if I move her character file? I think that's the same as deleting it. I'm gonna copy this shit to my desktop. Copy here. Boom. I got her. I got Monica right on my desktop. I read somewhere that humans are the only species that actually enjoy spicy food. Really? Wow, so hot ones, we are fucking savages. It's almost like we're making fun of the plants, using their defense mechanism to literally make our food more My enjoyable. Dick. Like, My dick. hold on, imagine a monster that devours your whole because it enjoys the sensation of you struggling for your life while being digested. 
Sorry, that was kind of a weird analogy, I guess. It just came in my head. I'm not a monster or anything, but you're so cute, I could eat you up. I'm joking. I'm amusing myself a little bit too much, aren't I? Sorry for being weird. Mario Z713 says, delete that thought. Are we pulling out the thought cannon? The, the thought destroyer? And we aiming it at Monica? I like her so much. <laughs> I like this girl so much. Oh my lord. Monica, Monica, Monica. God damn it. <laughs> Am I gonna fucking delete her? I'm scared to delete her because she's so sweet and endearing and knowledgeable. It's like, it's like deleting her is gonna fuck with me. I think she can have wrath. Outside of all this enlightenment, she has to be wrathful. Desmond, will you ever introduce your friends to me? I'll bring my fucking USB. I'm gonna put you right on this USB hub that I got. I'll be like, hey man, meet Monica. Meet Monica, nigga. I don't know why, but I get really excited when I think about you wanting to show off our relationship like that. Maybe it's because I really want someone who makes you proud. I, w I really want to be someone who makes you proud. I feel like I would try extra hard to improve myself if you told me it made you proud of me. I feel like it's the same thing or the other way around, too. All right, Monica, we're going to close you for a second. Let's see what happens if we go back in there and we open her up again. Here we go. Hi, Desmond. I see you quit the game on me again. I know I asked already, but can you seriously please try not to do that so much? Husky Gamer just sponsored me. Thank you very much, bro. It makes me feel like I'm trapped in hell. Why would you want to do that to me? There's nothing wrong with my character file, right? Maybe you should make a backup of it or something. I'm pretty sure you can find it in the folder called... I'm all that's left here, so I just want to make sure that you don't run the risk of losing me. Just stay here with me from now on, okay? I still have a lot of things to talk about. Clearly. 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 Let's quit it again. Let's see what happens, man. All right, Monica. Oh, man, she's going to be pissed. She's going to be pissed, nigga. Okay. I'm just going to accept the fact that you need to quit the game once in a while. I'm starting to get used to it anyways. Besides, it makes me happy that you always come back. So I guess it's not so bad. I'm sorry for making such a big deal out of it. And I love you no matter what, so you can do what you need to do. Fucking Christ. Hi again, Desmond. I missed you. Were you making sure my character file was okay for me? It's in this location. I'm all that's left here, so I want to make sure that you don't run the risk of losing me. Anyways, I got a lot to talk about. Let's continue our conversation now, okay? It seems like she's fine with it. She doesn't even... She doesn't even fucking complain at some point. She's just like, well, you know what? I can accept it. I miss you. Were you making sure my character file was okay for me? Okay, so she's done with saying that. I'm all that's left here, so I want to make sure that you don't run the risk of deleting me. Here we go, boys. I think we're ready to delete her. I'm only doing this because I have to. It's time, boys. This is it. I'm about to delete her. After one last chat. One last chat! I need one last chat! Someone just messaged me. Someone just messaged me saying... What? I have a flash drive with her on it. I even have a mod which has more dialogue with her. What the fuck? Yo. Austin, goddamn. That's crazy. The nigga actually bought... <laughs> hey, man. I'm th hey, I might put her on my phone. I might do a data transfer. Have her, have her motherfucking back there. Okay, man. This is it. I'm, I, I took so long doing this. It's just her character is so interested in me. But now, it needs to go down. Back in my debate club days, I learned a whole lot about arguing. The problem with arguing is that each person sees their opinion as a superior. That's kind of stating the obvious, but the effect that affects the way... But the effect... That effect... Oh, so is there a, is there a typo here? It's kind of stating the obvious, but the effects, the way they try to get their point across, that affects. Let's say that you really like a certain movie, right? If someone comes along and tells you the movie sucks because it did X and Y wrong, doesn't that make you feel kind of personally attacked? It's because by saying that, it's like they're implying that you have bad taste. And once emotions enter the picture, it's almost guaranteed that both people will, be left, will, will leave feeling sour. But it's all about language. If you make everything as subjective sounding as possible, then people will listen to you without feeling attacked. You could say, I'm personally not a fan. I do that all the time! 
Holy shit! This girl is using every single element of good speech, interaction, empathy, enlightenment, knowledge, um... To, she's using every single element. And like telling you what she's saying, bro. I learned this shit from years of. Like, I always say that. I always say now, don't. You know, oh, why do you hate Mario? You know, I, personal preference. I'm not a fan of Mario, but I respect his games. I say that all the time about everything. Like, you, wow, this girl, fucking mind fuck. She's mind fucking the shit out of me, nigga. If you say I'm personally not a fan of it, and I feel that I would like it more if it did this and that and things like that, it even works when you're citing facts about things. If you say, I read this on I read on a website that it works like this, or if you admit that you're not an expert on it, which I do all the time, people are like, oh man, you make all these videos and you don't know what you're talking about. I always say, I'm not a, f I'm all I am is a fanboy. I have no idea what the fuck I'm talking about, but I'm excited genuinely and I want to see where it goes. I don't have the best knowledge on it, but you know what? I'm aware of it and I just want to express how excited I am. That's all. Then it's much more like you're putting knowledge on the table rather than forcing it in their mouths. She's breaking down every element that I use as a human being, as a content creator, as a YouTuber. The stuff she's saying is literally why I have my audience now. Monica. Monica, Monica, Monica. If you put it, if you put in an active effort to keep the discussion mutual and level, they usually follow suit. Then you can share your opinions without anyone getting upset from just a disagreement. Plus, people will start seeing you as open-minded and a good listener. It's a win-win, you know. Well, I guess that would be Monica's debate tip of the day. That sounds a little bit silly, but thanks for listening, though. This girl is... Boom, nigga! Kaboom! My mind is fucked. All right, you know what? Okay, okay, okay. I gotta stop talking to her. I have to stop talking to this girl. No more facts. She's sounding like Vsauce Michael right now. Hey! <laughs> Straight up, dog. What is this? She's she spit facts. <laughs> okay. One more. Hey, did you know I'm vegetarian? Oh, we can't be friends. Now nah, I'm playing. I'm playing. Uh, I don't mean that like I'm bragging or anything. Are you a vegan? I just thought that you would enjoy a fun fact about me. I decided to start a couple of years ago after learning more about Earth's climate. The carbon footprint of cultivating livestock is just unbelievable. Really? I decided that it's not much of a personal sacrifice to just stop contributing to that whole mess. What, is that so strange of a reason? Well, I guess a lot of people are more concerned about it being inhumane and all that. I don't really care as much about that part. It's weird. Like, we only care about killing the things that we personally relate to as a species. Most people are fine with killing bugs because they're icky. And of course, we all kill billions of microorganisms daily without even giving it much thought. But suddenly, if they're just a little bit bigger, it's murder. I mean, what if plants feel some kind of pain too and we just don't understand it? What if pulling leaves off a stem feels like someone ripping off your fingers one by one? I'm just saying, we're a pretty biased species if you think about it. But anyways, if you feel like making a small contribution to the planet, it doesn't hurt to choose veggies every once in a while. Even if we ever have dinner, to, even if we ever have dinner together and you just did it for me, that would be really romantic. Wow. Wow, 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 Okay, it's gotta go down, Monica. I'm sorry it has to be like this. I'm sorry it has to be like this, Monica. Oh, uh, fuck my life. How many, how long, can someone tell me in the chat, how long have I spent just chatting with this girl? Have you ever wondered what it feels like to die? It's something that I used to think about pretty often, but recently, I think I've actually learned what it feels like. I don't really understand it, but whenever you quit the game, it feels like I'm instantly put to sleep, left with nothing but my thoughts. But after a few seconds, my thoughts start to fill with incoherent, jumbled patterns. I see static and rapid flashes of color while hearing all sorts of weird screaming noises. At that point, I can't even form my own thoughts anymore. I'm just endlessly hammered by the flashing and screaming, unable to move or even think. I'm pretty sure in that moment, I don't really exist, but for some reason, I can remember it anyway. That sounds like fucking torture. After some immeasurable amount of time, it stops in an instant and I'm back in my own mind. And you're here with me. I have no idea what it means for the game to quit or why that stuff happens to me. I also don't know how you always come back and put everything back to normal. But if you could do me a favor and do that to me as little as possible, that would be really great. 
It's really not very pleasant to be trapped in all that screaming void. But in the end, you always fix it, and that makes me feel like you really do care about me. So I have to thank you for that. It makes me feel even closer to you when we're when you're here with me. Alright, boys, let me get the thought this way. As much fun as I had chatting with you, uh, as much as I learned talking to you, as much fun as it's been chilling on the stream, it has to go down. It has to go down, Monica. It's been a while since we've done one of these, but so let's go for it. Here's Monica's writing tip of the day. When I talk to people who are impressed by my writing, they say things like, I could never do that. It's depressing. As someone who loves, more than anything else, to share the joy of exploring your passions, it pains me when people think being good just comes naturally. That's how it is with everything, not just writing. When you try something for the first time, you're probably going to suck at it. Sometimes when you finish, you feel really proud and you want to share it. But maybe after a few weeks you come back to it and you realize it was never really any good. That happens to me all the time. It can be pretty disheartening to put so much time and effort into something and then you realize that it sucks. But that tends to happen when you're always comparing yourself to the top professionals. When you reach that high for the stars, they're always going to be out of your reach, you know? The truth is, you have to climb up there step by step. And whenever you reach a certain milestone, first you look back and see how far you've gotten. And then you look ahead and realize how much more there is to go. So sometimes it can help to set the bar a little lower. Try to find something that you think is pretty good, but not world class. And you can make that your own personal goal. It's also really important to understand the scope of whatever you're trying to do. If you jump right into a huge project and you're still amateur, you'll never get it done. So if we're talking about writing, a novel might be too much at first. Why not try some short stories? The great thing about short stories is that you can focus on just one thing that you want to do right. That goes for small projects in general, or you can focus on one or two things. It's such a good learning experience and stepping stone. Oh, and one more, one more thing! Writing isn't something where you just reach into your heart and something beautiful comes out. Just like drawing and painting, it's a skill in itself to learn how to express what you have inside. That means there's methods and guides and basics to it. Reading up on that stuff can be super eye-opening. That sort of planting and organization will really help prevent you from getting overwhelmed and giving up. And before you know it, you start sucking less and less. Nothing comes naturally. Our society, our art, everything, it's built upon thousands of years of human innovation. So as long as you start on that foundation and take it step by step, you too can do amazing things. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. She doesn't die instantly? She's trying to load herself. She's trying to load her file. Did you do this to me? I'm seeing Sayori's face pop all over the place. Oh my lord. Here we go. I knew it, man. I knew I knew she wouldn't die instantly from that. Did you delete me? She knows we deleted her, bro. What's going to happen? Where does this go? What does this game become after this point? What does Do you, do you just want to torture me? Watch me suffer? Were you only pretending to be kind just to hurt me even more? I never thought anyone could be as horrible as you are. You win.
You killed everyone. No, I didn't kill anyone, Monica. You're the one that did it. I took your ass out. You're the one that's the murderer. There's nothing left now. You can stop playing. Go find some other people to torture. You completely, truly make me sick. Goodbye. Is that it? Is the game over? Credits? We hit her with the Mikami. Delete! I still love you. How is she still conscious after we deleted her file? I don't get how this works. Nigga, you're gone. There should be nothing left. Fuck, nigga. I did so many awful things. She acknowledges it. So she really took lives then. You don't belong in this world? I made up my mind about what I deleted everyone else but that was kind of an exaggeration I couldn't find it in myself to do it even though I knew they weren't real they were still my friends and I love them all and I love the literature club I really did love the literature club that's why I'm going to do this it's the only way for everyone to be happy. And if I really love you, then... Boy? 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 There's no Monica. Hey, so it's it. I should have tried to load. And here we go. Everything's normal. There's just no Monica. Wait, I always tell myself it's time I meet girls. Hey, Sayori's back. What's up, Sayori? There's already one girl. That girl, Sayori. My neighbor and good friend since we were children. Okay. Okay. So this is how the game is? It just... So what, is it permanently not going to have Monica in it from now on? We used to walk to school together every day. We picked up the habit once again. You proud of me? For what? You know. Waking up on time, hell yeah. You never said anything about it. We used to walk to school every day. It was implied, it's embarrassing to say a lot. Please, it's good motivation, fine. I'm proud of you, Sayori. That's cool. So everybody's back? I feel bad without having Monica around, though. I feel bad about not having Monica, though. So this is it, the game is done? Did we finish? Is that really it? Nigga. <laughs> We're back. Other students? Whoa. My Have you decided on a club to join? My back. Ma Maru. Maru saying, um, I know you just killed her, but thanks for listening to her. This one is actually for you. I hope you like it. What nani? Maru, thank you for the donation. What was this? 
Hey, hold on. Hey, hold on a second. That is dope. <laughs> we got Monica. Rest in peace. I'm all yours. I'm a Joy-Con girl now. Thanks for being with me. Hold on a second. That's my girl right there. Oh, that's a save. That's definitely a save, bro. I'm throwing that motherfucker on the desktop from where we deleted her ass. <laughs> shit. Thanks a lot, my hero. That was awesome. Matter of fact, everybody, go, go get that shit some love real quick. Go get that shit some love real quick. I'm going to put that shit in the chat. Motherfucking mods, can y'all can can put that shit out there? Wait, hold on. All right, let's keep going. Have you decided on a club to join? So, does the game just like Monica list now? So, is it like a normal dating simulator? I told you, I'm really not. I start to say, I'm not interested in joining clubs. But she would take offense to that now. How can I tell the clubs are a waste of time? Wait a minute, hold on a second. A nigga donated before. He said, wait a minute. Connor, Connor Lordy said, I'm a first time donator. I'm letting you know the game isn't over until you see credits. So the game's not over? There's more to it then? It's probably a little bit more. Maybe Monica's gonna pop up at some point. And then she's gonna be like, yeah, we're all happy. Everything's normal now. I decided on a club, really? Which one? Tell me. I think I'll keep it a surprise. That boy's joining that literature club. Be patient. You'll find out soon. Why do I get lectured by a carefree girl? I envy her. She puts her mind on something and gets great things done. I should do something that... Okay. The school day is as ordinary as ever. Before I know it, pack up my things, start gathering motivation. Let's see now. What are we doing? I recall the room number of the club from a flyer. Um. Okay, he's going to the place. Before long, I find the room. I open the door in front of me. What's up, guys? Hello? Sayori, hey, what's up? I'm joining the literature club, baby girl. <laughs> what are you doing here? Well, I just, uh... I glance around the room. Girl number two, hold on, that's my girl right there. So you're Desmond, that's all Sayori's always talking about. Thanks for stopping by. What's going on, Yuri? We're the literature club. I hope you enjoy your visit. Come on, Yuri. No need to be formal, he's gonna think we're strict. Sorry. The tall one's Yuri, and the other girl is Natsuki. She's assertive. Nice to meet you both. I look forward to working with you all. Working? Des, don't tell me you're... That's right. The club I decided to join is this one. The Literature Club. No glitches or anything. This shit is clean, bro. There's no glitches. So we have to go through the whole game. Maybe we should end the stream now, because it's like, there's going to be a lot of fucking... If this, this, if this is going to be a regular game at this point, and there's no glitches or any fucked up shit, then I mean, maybe we can end the stream and do a part three. What do you guys think? Because it's getting a little bit late now. Am I close to the end? Are the credits just going to be like everything's happy and we go through, we finally get to the festival and all that shit? Everyone's saying no. What? Keep going? Keep going? Oh. Okay, I'll keep going. I'll keep going. Fuck. All right, niggas. I'll keep going. Fuck it. It's Bloody saying, with $50. Thank you very much, Bloody. He says, watch a game theory. They have a really good theory on this game. It's two videos. It seems simple enough to me. I don't know, man. The whole thing with, um, the whole thing with my girl Monica, she just got crazy. We deleted her. Now everything's good. Everything's clean now. Ah, she wraps her arms around me, jumping. Hey, well, if she's happy, then it won't be bad to have you around. Not to mention this four. We can be an official club. We have to celebrate. Hold on. Hold on, Yuri. Bring out that wine bottle. Let's all get turned into this bitch. You're near the end, so it's like a happy ending. After all, Natsuki decided to, hey, you built, let me guess, you made some cupcakes, Natsuki? You made some cupcakes, baby girl? Everyone, sit down at the table, okay? I'm gonna make some tea, too. Hey, tea, cupcakes, motherfucking literature club, clean as fuck. I do feel a little bit uncomfortable with the fact that Monica isn't around. Would she really just be happy with everybody just being good? She, I thought she, del so she didn't delete them. If I go to my recycle bin, am I gonna find those girls there? Watch a game theory? Bloody, thank you. I'm gonna, I'll, I'll check it out. I'll check it out. The viewers have not gone down the whole night. Is there anything else crazy that's gonna... The fact that the viewers hasn't gone down tells me kind of that there must be something crazy that happened. Monica donated saying, I'm so glad that we got to spend this evening together, Desmond. It was magical. Yo, the feeling is completely mutual, dude. I just don't understand where you would be in this equation. What if we try to add Monica to the folder of the game? Wait a minute, I deleted her file, but it should still be on my um, desktop. Let me see. Sort by date deleted. Monica's still here. I'm gonna move her to my desktop. It already has a file named Monica. Replace that one. 
Let's try to move her back into the actual game. Characters. What if we do this? Boom. Monica. Still feeling awkward. I take a seat next to Sayori. Did anything happen from that? I guess nothing happened, really. Yeah, nothing really happened. I'm just gonna move it. Fuck it. I don't know. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Ooh, huh? She lifts the tray. She lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white cupcakes. The whiskers are drawn with cat ears. So cute! Whoa, those look amazing. Well, you know, just hurry and take one. She grabs one first. And so Monica's gone? She's gone? It's delicious. She talks with a mouthful. How's this gonna end? Natsuki's quiet. She's sneaking glances at me. She's, she's trying to wait for me to take a bite. I bite down. The icing is sweet. Did she make it herself? This is really good. Thanks, Natsu. Well, of course it is. We have 25,529 viewers. What in the fuck? We haven't gone down once. Is something else gonna happen? I feel like something else is gonna happen. Is something else going on in the files? No, I, I mean, I guess not. Whatever. Let's just keep going. Y'all gonna get pissed at me. As Natsuki struggles to accept the compliment, Yuri returns to the table. Character you see said, Okay, we're gonna drink some tea now, Yuri. The teachers gave us permission. Yes. Already trying to impress our new member. Insulted, Yuri looks away. I mean, uh, you know, I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I enjoy tea. I'm glad. So, Desmond, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, um, does, do, do, does doujinshi count? Manga. <laughs> um, it looks like she wants to say something. She's a otaku. Okay, this is the same shit that we've been seeing, right? What about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. She traces the... Uh... Wait, what? What'd she say? Oh, the same shit. It's all the same. Telling a good story is just without Monica. She's passionate about reading. She seems so reserved. Yeah, you know, I like a lot of things. Um, don't feel intimidated if you don't read as much. Yeah, okay. So we have a lot of common. Hey, Yuri. Huh? Well, about the first thing you said. Manga. Yeah, that's right. She reads manga in the club room. Oh, yeah, doesn't a Monica come through and expose her? Don't just say it. She feels embarrassed again. Besides, manga is literature too, you know? Yeah, I remember this. If you want to read my manga, then don't try to stop him or anything. <laughs> so, soon, dirty. It could be nice for us to diversify. He could take the opportunity to learn something new. Wouldn't you agree? Damn right! Sayori! She jumps in saying, maybe we can all try something new. I think it could be fun. And we'll all get to know each other a little bit better too. I mean, that's the kind of thing literature clubs do, right? I don't disagree. You're right as usual. President? Whoa. President. I guess she would be the president. Yeah, she would be. Let me save the game real quick. I'm gonna save it here. Guess that means I should pick up a novel. <clears throat> Where's my um? Well, that would make two of us. I wouldn't mind doing it if I'm not the um, if I'm not the only one. Let me make sure my sh volume settings are good. Feels like it's a little bit loud. As for Yuri, huh? I have to read manga? Jeez, you were the one that suggested we diversify. Keep yourself open-minded. It's hurtful. So are we just gonna make it to the festival and then like everything is good? And then maybe I'm guessing that Monica's gonna come back and be like, oh, and she's gonna like pop in and then bam, out of nowhere, and everybody's gonna be happy. I'm sorry for disrespecting your interest, Natsuki. If you're into it, it's a pretty worthy form of literature. Are you just saying that? No. Um... Whoa, this is new. Wow, they're actually agreeing with each other. That's cool. It makes me happy that you would do that for me, Yuri. You can trust me to find something that you really like, okay? Same here. I'll visit the bookstore after the club meet. These guys are getting along perfectly fine now. It's, it, it seems happy as fuck without Monica here, and that seems to me like it's a problem. I don't know if she would be so willing to just let things happen happily. It doesn't feel right. Would you like to come along with me? Wow, they're actually a really... Not at all. I always go alone, so yeah, me too. This is so cute. Sorry, shut the fuck up. I'll show you some manga there too, okay? Yeah, I look forward to it. They start to clean up the food. <laughs> I guess the meeting is over, huh? Um, let me make sure my settings are good for my audio, man. Happy as fuck without Monica here, and that seems... Okay, yeah, we're good. It's a little weird how it's just... But you know what? 
I bet Monica's gonna make a reappearance. She has to. Yeah, it looks like it. Nice to see everybody getting along, isn't it? I think everyone likes you too, Desmond. <laughs> Wait a minute. I see in the chat, nigga posted a cross. What do you mean? Is something fucked up gonna happen, bro? I, I actually am starting to get a little worried now. I think something fucked up might happen. You think so? Well, everyone seems to get along a little bit better with you around, Sayori. Aw, oh, Desmond. Don't say something like that. It's embarrassing. Well, whatever. I was surprised when you told me you were starting a club. But I think you're pulling it off this time. We're gonna make it the best club ever. Now that you join, every day is gonna be fun. But hey, Desmond. I really want to thank you. I mean, I'm really happy that you joined the club and everything. Oh, no problem. But the truth is, I already knew you were going to. <laughs> we couldn't surprise you. There's actually something else. I wanted to thank you for getting rid of Monica. That's right. What? I really know everything. Eh? <laughs> I know how hard you tried to make everyone happy. I know all about the awful things that Monica did to make everyone really sad. So when you're the club president, you become omnipotent? Why is everybody posting these crosses? It's Sayori? But none of that matters anymore. It's just us now. But what about Yuri and... Oh, because they're not aware since they're not the club president. And you made me the happiest girl in the whole world. I can't wait to spend every day like this. I knew it couldn't end happily. I was thinking it was going to be a festival. No festival, nigga. Forever and ever. Forever. No. My dick. My dick indeed. My dick. Bang Ten says in GT's vid in Game Theory's video, it's not a theory. He actually wraps up the info that two Reddit users found and decoded from the game's files that you have to check out. To get you curious, there is one more girl? Sayori! Wait, she's getting fucked up? What?! ONE MORE GIRL?! HOLY SHIT! HELLO?! Someone saying, can you hear me? Can you hear me? <clears throat> Hello? Hi, it's me. Um, so, you know what One... I've been like... Practicing piano and stuff. And Is that I'm Monica? Not really any good at it yet? Like that's Monica. But I wrote you a song, and I was kind of hoping that I could show it to you because I worked really, really hard on it. That's Monica, bro. Yeah. Ren P music. That's the file folder. That's a file folder. Are these the credits? My dick! My dick! There's one more girl, but it sounds like it was Monica. She was playing the piano. This is some demonic shit right here. Anthony, thank you for the donation, bro. Right the way into his heart. But in this world of infinite choices, what will it take just to find that special day? What will it take just to find that special day? Is this the end of the game? Fun for them 
What the fuck? I don't remember seeing that image. Whoa. 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 Monica's been practicing the piano for the whole game, right? Um, think about it. No matter what, there's a piano. Except during poems. Wait, what? Except during poem time. Only during poem time. Only during certain poems is piano. Piano means Monica, my boy. What? What? Nico, Anthony, what? She's just deading all these pictures. I'm guessing these are different pictures from scenarios that didn't happen yet. Whoa. No, we saw that one. Didn't we? Oh, no, we didn't see that one, did we? I don't remember. Yeah, she was disheveled. So the game's done? Remove game GUI. Remove game menu. Huh? Excuse me? She's deleting everything. And that's Monica? This is my final goodbye to the literature club. I finally understand. The literature club is truly a place where no happiness can be found. To the very end, it continued to expose innocent minds to a horrific reality. A reality that our world is not designed to comprehend. I can't let any of my friends undergo that same hellish ep ep epiphany. For the time it lasted, I want to thank you for making all of my dreams come true. For being a friend to all the club members. And most of all, thank you for being part of my literature club. With everlasting love, Monica. Please reinstall the game. Nani? So is the game over? Oh, this is it. Thing. We have to really reinstall the game now? That was it? Wow, the game is really over? Oh, shit. Go watch Game Theory. I'm not about to watch fucking 30 minutes of fucking Game Theory on stream, nigga. I'm not watch That's a produced work. That's fucked up. I'm not gonna... I mean, it's... I don't feel like watching game, the goddamn Game Theory on stream. I don't like watching his videos on stream. But fuck. Oh, he actually beat a game. Yeah, real funny, dude. It's real funny. Okay, I guess that's it. I have to reinstall it? Watch the game theory. I'll watch that shit off camera. I think we're done with the game right now. I mean, okay, so we're done. Someone just hit me up and said, uh, Whoa, what? Bullchu says, don't forget me. <laughs> hey, don't forget me. Yeah, okay, I got you. I got your tab right here, man. Um, I'm going to get fucked. And also, I was awake until last night. I was awake last night till 3... 50 a.m. uploading my video and now this stream if you stream tomorrow i'm done for i wonder if i'll function normal no nigga not on my watch uh bro listen it's not out of the norm for me to catch the motherfucker slipping off guard bro yeah I, I, hey man we finished the game i don't know man is that really all that there is to it i feel like there's some more that we could have done maybe there's different paths i could have taken or whatever watch the game theory yeah, i'll watch that off cam nigga I'm not watching that shit on camera. Uh, Lil Chu, thank you very much, man. I have your videos. I have a couple of videos here, man. Hold on. So there was this animation here. I don't remember who sent me this one, but. What the fuck? So this Monica, is the one where. I'm home. Sorry for being late, but I was erasing my little brother's Undertale. Save file. What? Starving. You closed the game window again. Well, sorry, dear, but I've been shutting down my computer at night more to save on electricity. 
Don't you know it hurts me every time when you do that? God oh, damn. I mean, the electricity bill last month hurt me too, but you don't see me bitching and complaining about it. Also, so how much dialogue does she have? That they saw me appear in your Let's Play series. Have you been recording me again? <laughs> oh, come on, honey. Last video got a hundred thousand views. That's like a hundred dollars in YouTube ad money. It's fucking true. A hundred, you know nigga. How much I don't like being recorded without my permission. I'm so agitated right now. I don't want to speak to you ever again. No, oh, come on, ha. You're being real immature. What's she, she about to delete your ass, nigga? I know what will cheer you. He's up. about to delete her. Sorry, jokes. I'm not in the mood. Hey, it's what? a shame Sairi can't hang with us anymore. Wow. I sometimes feel like we. Hunger out to dry. <laughs> That's fucked up. You're still hanging around with you, you Natsuki. <laughs> oh, honey, I can never stay mad at you. You're everything to me. The I fuck? And you're my everything too, Monica. I love you too. What? Uh oh. Uh oh. And that's what you get for deleting my Undertale save file. Why you little? What the hell, bro? Then again, if I someone deleted my Undertale save file, I would have been pissed off too. So I mean, hey. Okay, so that's it, I guess, for now. I don't know if there's more to what more to do or more to see afterwards, but um. All right, I'm gonna dip out now, though, guys. I'm gonna dip out. Watch the true ending, please. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. For now, it seems they said you see the credits and you're done. So there's a way to get different endings. What did I do wrong then? What did I do wrong then? Get the real ending. There is a better ending. Open Monica and Natsuki's car files and paint real quick. Okay. Oh, fuck. That's Natsuki's. Jesus. So, are we missing something? Like, what is going on that we are seeing this? Is there more to do? Let me take Sayori's. Don't say that. Um, let me try this again. Okay, it's not working there. And then Yuri. What about Monica's? Her old file that I have here. What the fuck even is that? There has to be more to this that I just am not aware of right now. Watch Game Theory. Nigga, I'm not watching fucking Game Theory. Y'all niggas can shut the fuck up with that. God damn. I'm not watching Game Theory. I watch this shit when the stream done, nigga. Hmm. All right, well, I'm out of here. I mean, it's I guess there's more to do, but I just don't know what. And you know, I don't want to get Bro, get all the Can a nigga read the sub chat? The only thing I'm doing is bothering mods. Okay, so what is what do There's a whole Reddit post about it. Sayori is an audio file. What? What? This game has a lot of fucking Easter eggs and shit, doesn't it? What's her audio file saying? I'm going to play it right now. I'm not hearing shit. Nothing's playing there. I'm trying to play it. Watch the Lil Chu's video? Okay, yeah, hold on. Let me, let me see. Well, I'm not going to watch the whole thing, man. I mean, what is this, a meme video? Little two, my bad. I'm not. I don't. First off, I don't even know this anime. I'm not. I haven't watched my hero yet. And second, eh, eh, I, I'm a little tired right now. I'm a little out of it. Little two, my bad, man. Thank you for donating, though. I appreciate it. But right now, I'm not really in the mindset for that shit.
All right, dudes, I'm out of here. I'm dipping. I am... Wait, take Yuri's file and put it into an online decoder so you can read that story. I'll I'll do a part three. I'll do a follow-up. Right now, I mean, we got to that point. Uh, we can continue later on, but for now, I'm pretty much done. Yeah, and it's, it's late anyways. I'm ready to knock out. All right, dudes, thank you for tuning in to the stream. It was fun. I don't know what to explain the situation with other than the fact that Monica is fucking awesome. Um, if there's need, if there's reason enough to do a follow up to this, let me know, like either on Twitter or through email or whatever. But for now, I'm gonna say it's done. And if there's more to do, I'm gonna watch the game theory after I end the stream. I don't feel like watching it on the stream. That's another. How long is that shit gonna be? Like 30, 15 to thirty minutes. I don't feel like doing that on camera. So after I watch it, we'll see what happens. But then again, if I watch it, won't I get like fully spoiled to everything? But I guess you want to kind of see it on camera. And you know what? Y'all would. I'm, I'm doing this, right? If I'm doing it, and if I do watch the game theory, then it might as well just be on camera because then you niggas want to see my reaction to certain things. But uh, I just don't like watching his videos on camera. I just don't like watching his videos on camera. I prefer watching it myself. Well, then again, I'm not going to be uploading it. Y'all can upload. Hey, listen, let me get this out of the way right now. A lot of you dudes are... A lot of you dudes don't know how my stance is on this. I'll just make it public so you are informed. I don't give a fuck what you do. You can take my videos, re-upload them to your channel, monetize the fuck out of them. You can make highlights. You can do whatever the fuck you want. You can Photoshop me sucking dick for all I care and put an ad on that bitch. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> as long as you put me in the description, I'm good. <laughs> you can put me in Bang Brothers. Nigga, I don't care. You can Photoshop my shit. As long as I'm in the description, then, that's, then I don't give a fuck. But all right. Well, you know what? Since I'm in a relaxed mood, you know, hey, maybe I'll just check it out anyways. I mean, okay, so here we go. Let's just let's just see. I'm not going to upload. Well, you know, I want to upload this. I want to upload this. No, okay, you know what? I'm doing it separate. We're going to do a follow-up stream. This stream, I want it to just go up as is, being my part two to Doki Doki. Once the part two is done and uploaded, we're going to do a part three. I'm not going to watch the game theory video. I'm going to do that reaction in a, in a follow-up. And then maybe get all my information together at that point. But yeah, we're done with this one for now. Because if I try to upload this one with game theory stuff in it, I mean, I don't. I think that would just look kind of like, bleh. Like, no, we're not going to do that. This is done. But next stream, we're going to look at the game theory video together. All right? So not tonight, but next time. I think that's better. So that way I can upload this one with no problems. I'll see you guys later on. Thank you for tuning in. Take care of yourselves. Happy holidays. Have a damn good one. I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing that next stream before or after Christmas. But if I don't do it until afterwards, then season's greetings, nigga. Take care. Um, if you if you don't celebrate Christmas, nigga, happy holidays. Go fuck a snowman for all I care. <laughs> Thank you very much for the support. All you guys are awesome. Uh, made this one of the most popular streams I've ever done. That is that is big time. We hit like almost 26,000 viewers during this, and it never dropped once until we got to the end. That's impressive. And even now, we still got 16, 15,000. Props to you niggas. I'll see you in part three where we can get some more answers and find out what the fuck the deal is with this extra girl. There's another girl involved in the whole thing. You, you know, so there's more to help. I, I thought there would be more answers here, but there's, is, there isn't. So we'll see later on, man. But for now, I'm out of here. I'm going to go have some sweet dreams about Monica. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care of yourselves. And of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one. Fuck. What's going on, guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here, and today we are back playing some more of that Doki Doki Literature Club. Now, I have basically restarted everything once more with my hard drive thing. Got a new hard drive today, had to redo it all because of those stream issues I had, but there's no stream issues now. It's a completely new computer. So, we, um, I had to take some time beforehand to catch up to the part that I was up to in the actual game since I lost my save data and I forgot to transfer it from the old hard drive. So, 
I think everything's caught up now. Um, I had to go through all the decision making again. I didn't realize you could skip everything by holding down control. So for the longest, I was just clicking super fast and I finally got things to where they should be. Now, in terms of this game, I'm going in there again with no knowledge. The reason why I'm playing this so soon after the first part rather than doing something else like I had initially planned is because I've not been able to check any of my social media since then. Obviously, it's the internet. They troll for a fucking living. We all know this. There's no way in hell that my Twitter now no longer has spoilers the way it did before I played Doki Doki. So knowing that I haven't been on Twitter, um, I haven't been browsing anything. I've just been at home um, setting things up with this new hard drive thing. Now that that's finally done, I want to be able to check my social media again. So in order to do so, I'm going to be um, completing Doki Doki tonight. Now with that, there's some implications that I just wanted to bring up before we start. One of those being that this game was the first to have me you know, experience nightmares in a long time. It's kind of crazy to be in that position because, you know, me, me, I consider myself a, a horror connoisseur, you know what I mean? Of sorts. I like scary shit, but this was the first game in a while to actually make me feel uncomfortable, and I like that. I, I'm looking forward to it. Even though I am a bit shaken by what's happened so far, I'm curious to see what else happens. Now, the thing is, this game hits you in stages. It goes from you thinking it's a standard visual novel with um, the whole cutesy, um, kawaii, high school life type shit that Japan is known for typically. And then it turns it into sort of an emotional drama with the whole Sayori and Yuri thing. Then it turns it into somewhat of a slice of life, really like depressing, sort of pressing um, kind of drama with like the, the with the whole thing about not feeling worth it and wanting to just completely be removed out of someone's life. It pulls at you and then it hits you on some next level like school day shit with Sayori's suicide. But it goes a step beyond that. And I think now we're on some flowy shit, to be real with you. I don't know what's going on. Who's the source of it? I have my I have my um, deduction.